Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome in. Sorry we're late. Um, if you haven't done so already, please give your girl a thumbs up. Hi, Crime Curious. Hi, Allie. We're all here. And there you go. I just did a quick intro because um, for the jail calls, I said that's what I was going to do. And that's what I did. Just a quickie. All right. So now let's um, go ahead and get started. I'm going to share the screen. I'm so glad everybody is here. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. I know you guys were waiting. I don't want to keep you waiting any longer. And um, as soon as uh, StreamYard cooperates, I will get these uh, right up and get them playing. Hey, Jen, how are you, babe? I am well. I am well. Uh, Good. Except I spent, um, you know, most of the night last night and all of the day today uh, editing these calls. And there's a reason why I like to listen to these calls with you guys. Uh, because listening to these calls by yourself is just simply not suggested. <laughs> it's it's not healthy. So uh, I am really glad to be here because... No, it cannot be. I need the conversation that goes with these phone calls. You hear something like this by, by yourself. Okay, okay. I mean, well, I can provide that. What's that? <laughs> I can provide conversation. I'm good at that. Oh, what is happening today? YouTube keeps going back and forth between their old layout and their new layout. And it's driving me nuts. Okay. All right. So wait, hang on a second. Why is this not letting me make it big or whatever? Come on, man. We'll be here. Hello, Crackdown. Let me see. I have, I can see the comments in StreamYard, but okay. it's not the same as YouTube. You can't, you know. I don't yeah, know. I just feel like I don't see all the comments. Boring old Ohio here. Tracy it's says, so boring. Weird. What did YouTube do? Ohio comes up in the calls tonight. All right. There's Allie. Ooh. Okay. Let me add Allie. And I'll just add it like this. I don't know why I can't make it bigger, but I'll figure it out. Um, here are the calls. And, uh, Let's get started. Here we go. Hello. Hey. Hey. What you doing? Nothing. Where you at? At home. Oh, you didn't have to work? No. What? <laughs> I must not be as busy now. Well, we have more people, too. Oh, that's good. Is Charlotte still working there? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. What'd you eat today? Huh? What'd you eat today? Cereal. That's it? Mm-hmm. Why? Because why? Because I haven't had lunch yet. But you don't want lunch. It's like three o'clock. No. Why not? I don't know. I'm just not hungry. Have you been eating okay? Yeah. You just don't feel hungry right now? Yeah. All right, all right. Um, hey, so did you work on the stuff for TransUnion? No, not yet. Okay, well, you need to take some time and work on that, especially having today off. Okay. What's wrong? Nothing. And how much is on your um, Capital One card? You mean like credit limit? No, like I I, mean, I know you said you have a credit limit, but like you need to have like less than half on it, right? So like you got less than half on it. You mean like my balance? Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, the paper I sent you will tell you what to do about that. 
content. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long it'll take to get there, but it's got all the instructions. Um, you should have the money by Friday is what. Oh, no. God, the lady's going crazy. Hopefully, you should have the money by Friday because when I just called um, before I talked to you, uh, oh, crap. I forgot that I was going to do something else. Um, anyway, so hopefully it should be by Friday. Um, and then maybe you'll be getting a letter around the same time, you know what I mean? Yeah. What's wrong? Nothing. Um, do you know the, um, oh, can you do me a favor? And then I need to ask you something else. Um, will you text that lady, uh, the Ohio lady, and just say, um, T said, did, did she give you the, um, account information? Okay. I'm highly trying to write some stuff. I can't keep it all together because there's too much going on in my brain. Different times, I can't keep up with it. I can't keep up with what's going on real or not, you know? Just put a T. T, just put a T. Okay. And just say T. Just say T said. Did she, she couldn't remember if she gave you the um, the account number earlier. You have one minute remaining. Oh, is this, is this a free call? Yeah. All right, well, I'll call you back and give her time to write you back, and I'm going to put in some stuff real quick, and I'll call you back, okay? Okay. All right, I love you. Me too, thanks. Bye. Okay, I was going to play a couple of calls straight through, but now I'm not because I can't handle the way the screen looks. It's driving me nuts. So um, let me fix it. Jen. There we go. This is what I need to do. Jen. Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. Um, the, yeah. um, there's yes. definitely, I'm so delayed. Oh, no. <laughs> It's okay. Go ahead. I am so, so delayed, but um, I will, I'll leave during the call and come back in to try to fix that. But there's definitely a glitch with YouTube because there was like 200 and some people at the most in my live. And when I got off, it had like 70 views. I've never seen that happen. Usually, you know, it's more than how many people yeah. were in your live. So I don't know. Something's funky with them. That is weird. Okay, but I fixed it on the screen, so now I can have closed captioning. Thank you, uh, Laura. I appreciate it so much. Su super generous of you guys. We're going to get right back into it. Thank you for your patience. I'm very sorry. All right, here we go. I'm going to play the next one. This time I'm going to oh, the closed captions aren't available. Bummer. All right, here we go. Yeah. All right, well, I'll call you back and give her time to write you back, and I'm going to put in some stuff real quick, and I'll call you back, okay? Okay. All right, I love you. Me too, thanks. Bye. Did that lady write you back? 
now. No, not yet. Um, well, I oh, here comes Sadie. Huh? Here comes Sadie. Oh, little baby. Little baby, little baby. Hi, baby. No. Oh, no, come over here. Did you go to, um, did you get to go to church? Yeah. Okay. Well, it should be a few more times. Before you, yeah, she. she tried to email me. Did they what? I need something. Like what? Hold on. You didn't get your glasses? Corona? Oh, I Corona? I can't find it, but oh. it was just random. Thanks. She oh. sounds stupid. Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, you know, she does that. She blames people for stuff they didn't do, and then that's what she doesn't need. She does the same to you. She does it to everybody else, so it's over. Don't, let, don't worry about it. Spilled milk, you know? It's like, whatever. Mm -hmm. What did Mom say? She was just like, oh, my God, I'm sorry. Good day. Well, work on that, making sure you're um thing, cause you're gonna have to have a, like a, we're gonna have to do like a good insurance thing, cause they do that when they check your insurance. So mm -hmm. that way, you got to worry about her bothering you over it and her, you know, forcing you to go some trip somewhere. What about that lady? Is what what did that lady talk to you? No, but I called her. I called her and told her that I'm gonna. The money has been going my account and I'm going to keep it. You did? Yeah. And what did she say? She was like, thank you for telling me. She was like, I love you like my daughter. She said what? Um, she was like, thank you for telling me. I love you like my own daughter. Stuff she said. Did she know what Aunt Britta did? Yeah, told her. And then what did she say? She's just like, oh my goodness. Baby. Did you tell her you were working? Yeah. Okay. So why has Aunt Brenda been keeping it? Hush. I don't know. She's lost it. Get down. No, get is the, down. Is the lady going to give you something for November? I don't know. Yeah. Well, you got Stop. enough you that you got some credit for your... Huh? You hear him? That, yeah, that breathing noise? Yeah. <laughs> you said you got enough for... um, You got the credit for November, right? Mm -hmm. All right, then you should be good to go because it should be long that you have the rest of it. But you have, yeah. I just think like with this whole, what they got some virus going on around the world or something. Then slow this stuff down. What's going on with the? Um, I saw on the paper thing it said it was the president election. What's going on with that? You don't know. 
with people now? Yeah, like uh, Justice comes to see me and then Titus is in there, Jamie. So yeah, they come. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they come a lot though. Thank goodness they come, you know? Yeah. But I don't get that, like, no girls ever get to visit me. That's the only thing. Sometimes, you know, you want to talk to a girl, but you don't get to, you know? Mm-hmm. Right. That's it. And then it's almost feeding season again. So I have to look back. I can't I can't eat anything that doesn't transfer for the next like seven days. So it'll be like feeding season in seven days. So but other than mm-hmm. that, I've just been preparing for it, you know. Mhm. Okay. You had any events? Uh, is uh, Katie come to see you or anyone? I don't know anybody that's came. No one's came except that one social worker lady that time that the 
conspiracy people. Mm -hmm. Conspiracy lady, social worker, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's the only lady I don't know know her, but she said her name was like Amanda. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Okay. Okay. Well, I wish that they would come see you, you know, or something. Oh. Uh, Katie. Why do I need to see Katie? To use your attorney. I don't have an attorney. I told you I'm trying to pay for an attorney. That's why I asked for help. Because I didn't have a way to call them. But I don't have one here. And, like, I don't know, like, the the whole thing is... Thank you for using Global Telling. Okay, girls. What do we think? <laughs> I have a whole note card full of notes. Well, get to it, Gerald. Let's hear it. <laughs> the first thing was something I put in chat. And it was like Letitia Stauk, financial advisor, flight attendant, <laughs> school teacher, child killer. Uh, I mean, we could, we could, vampire. What else? Vampire. <laughs> failed, failed witch. Pillar. Pillar of society. Yeah. Doctor. A doctor. Doctor. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I missed yes. your comment. I didn't see that. <laughs> And then I and then I also made a comment. Um, I have the luxury of having been through these calls once before already, so I know that's a little bit unfair. But I really focused in when when she told Harley in that first call. She told Harley, "I need you to I need you to send a text to the the lady from Ohio, and, and tell her T said." And and she had to make sure that she explained to Harley, like not T T E E, like. Letitia does with her name, right? But uh-huh. but Letitia was specifically saying, no, just a T, just put a T. T said, did did she give you the um, account information? So Harley's supposed to text some woman from Ohio and ask her and 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 say, T said, right? Now I I know I have I have the ability to see in the future because I've already been there. Um, but we're going to find out, a spoiler, we're going to find out that the lady in Ohio uh, is under the impression that Letitia's name is Taylor. Um, so so Letitia using her daughter to communicate with this person in Ohio, uh, who I believe to be the toilet talker's mom, but I'm, I, haven't, I haven't honestly connected those dots yet. Uh, and I haven't listened to December calls yet. So, you know, who knows? That's right now. That's who I think it is. And um, and so so Harley's texting uh, this this woman in Ohio, something about account numbers. And Letitia is still playing the 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 game where she's got what was it? One hundred and fifty thousand dollars coming in. And she's going to give Harley 25000 of it. And the reason she's got this money coming in is because she's protecting people who actually killed Gannon. And the cartel is paying for it. They're financing right. her. Right. So mm-hmm. at this point, what I just heard, I believe, would be her telling Harley to get a hold of E's mom. So, uh, some yada yada about account numbers. <laughs> e as for Edwin, I talked to him in the potty. E is right. for Edwin, I talked to him in the potty. That's who Ed. That's who she's talking about, you guys. Okay, I, I have to say this then, before we keep going. 
Just wait. Well, one, I only have two one. more notes on that one. Okay. 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 I'm sorry. And it was just Aunt Brenda sucks. P.S. I don't know what's real. Okay. Love you so much. <laughs> I'm going to send you $25, <laughs> but remember, I don't know what's real. Okay. Okay. Love you. Bye. Okay. Love you. Bye. Weird. That I just wanted to give. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to give like a little tiny reminder of where we were when we last left Letitia. So when we last left Letitia in October, she's in training. The Volteri are running some kind of vampire training camp, cleverly disguised as the El Paso County Jail. Okay. She has zero <laughs> memory of anything uh, that is of the year 2020. She thinks she's in 2019. This is the literal worst Back to the Future episode ever. Or COVID is real. Ever. Yeah, COVID, COVID doesn't exist yet because she's in 2019. COVID doesn't happen until 2020, but Letitia is in 2019. Um, Aunt Brenda has, uh, has repossessed Harley's vehicle. And all this insurance talk and all that stuff, that's about, you know, now Car uh, Harley is without a vehicle. So that's where we're at right now. Currently, that's the sitch. That's the synopsis. Poor Harley, man. Poor freaking Harley. I just, I, ugh. yeah. You guys know that I go back and forth. Um, the the thing is, my personal opinion of a person I'll never know really doesn't matter. Um, but it's just natural for me to assess how I feel about the things that I'm learning as I'm doing all this research, and. Um, you know, while I may go back and forth with whatever my insignificant personal opinion may be, uh, after after listening to the November calls, which are are Harley heavy, they are they are Harley centric. It was a Harley centric month for Letitia, and um, I'm I'm on the side of that poor girl. That's where I'm at tonight. Yeah, what you got, Allie? <laughs> Um, on the same side tonight and um, just because like you can just hear number one she's acting like like it, when we left off in the last call you know this money's coming and at this point you can just hear like Harley's defeated in her voice right and it's just I don't know it's it's sad because you see her playing mind games with her child who's without a mother without a father and you know I don't know it's like it's really frustrating because even at the end of the day, no matter how I feel about what Harley knew, how she acts, this or that, she's a kid. And the way that I feel about any kids, like, like Bentley has some friends that are just wild and mean. And I feel sorry for them because I know that their parents aren't teaching them how to behave and how to treat people and how to act and have manners. And they're not just, they're, they just don't care. And so even as bad as the kid might be at the end of the day, it's, it's really not their fault. You know what I mean? So it's just tough. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. I was going to, I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, I was just going to go into call number two on my little notes. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> Oh, Jen, you're so patient with me. Um, no, I'm not. I'm the worst. Remember, I keep you trapped here against your will. <laughs> okay, so call number one was it? What? Yeah, I know. This is a. There should be a I'll, new a new sort. What's it? What's it called when you start feeling for the kidnappers? Oh, um, <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome. Syndrome. Yeah, right. yeah. She's, that's, she's that's identified with her with with her kidnap. And um, not only that, but um, this this is just a really hostile work environment and somebody really ought to contact HR. This has got to stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so call number one was at 108. Call number two was at 128. And, and so the Harley, Harley, Katrina. So 108, 128, and then 143, right? And so we right. have her first call with Harley where she's a damn financial advisor telling her to uh, text the gangster's mom in Ohio for the payment that we're going to buy you a new car with from the cartel money. Um, I really need to work on my storytelling skills. Letitia <laughs> E.F. Hutton. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then we start call number two with Aunt Brenda Sucks. What's going on with the presidential election, Harley? Like, 
Like it was a quiz. And then she was like, yeah, I didn't expect you to know the answer. I just oh asked you God. because I wanted you to feel stupid. Oh. <laughs> Clearly I'm paraphrasing. So um, and then did that other lady, Veronica, write you back? Okay. And then Harley's going through her phone and then she, and then it sounded like, you know, she was answering no to that question. And then she said the other lady wrote back and said, he's doing good. So I think the other lady is Ohio lady. <laughs> um. So Harley, Harley, Katrina, three back-to-back -back phone calls. And then we get to Katrina and then we hear that signature yawn. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then immediately Letitia's telling Katrina about the money that she's sending to Harley. And it's supposed to sound, you know, she, you know, she, oh God, she's just toying with Aunt Katrina at this point. Aunt Katrina, who, by the way, spent eight months, you know, just really advocating for Letitia, you know, having believed that she was wrongly accused and all of that, all the work that she did with her attorneys um, to make, you know, she filed grievances. I mean, there was all kinds of stuff, but Aunt Katrina is no longer useful. You know, go to hell, Aunt Katrina. Yeah, I mean, Letitia just does not care. She will just wrinkle it up and throw it out. Um, but most times she's going to like light it on fire and then throw it. You know, she doesn't, I don't think she ends relationships well <laughs> with anyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, this is, you know, probably the, you know, let's hope this is the pinnacle of, of her just, you know, fire starter anyway. Um, and then again, third call, Aunt Brenda sucks. And then she's got, so she's got like this woe is me tone, you know, like, Oh, Aunt Katrina, I'm crazy. And I'm all alone. Well, except for my vampire friends. <laughs> it's almost um, season, Aunt Katrina. You know, and then Aunt Katrina goes for the old, uh, please talk to Katie. Katie who? Oh, my God, Letitia. Um, anyway, I did go back and look at the call log because that call ended abruptly after a, a fairly short time, right? And I just really mm -hmm. needed to know which one of them hung up the phone. Um, and it was Letitia, inmate hung up. That's what it says. So, so yeah. Katrina brings up Katie and Letitia starts talking to Katrina in this like condescending tone. You know, she went from woe is me to this condescending, like, I told you, I told you I don't have attorneys. I know. Yeah. Right. Uh, a what is your problem, Katrina? I mean, she was just talking to her. Uh, and then she just hung up the phone. And, um, yeah, but it's almost feeding season. It's interesting to me how somebody in Letitia's position can still manage to condescend, to be so yeah, no doubt, right? right. How, right. Listen, lady. Okay, you're you're riding kites, requesting underwear. Okay, right. but yet. You're looking your nose down at everybody else and poo-pooing them. Sans underwear. And by the way, the underwear that you're going to be getting ain't no Victoria's Secret underwear, ma'am. You're going to be getting big jail panties. Okay? Yeah. And you're going to get a Victoria's Secret outlet. Up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're getting, you know, you're getting the underwear that's that's made down this, you know, you know, a few miles away. Or, I don't know where Colorado's uh prisons are located. I know where Texas's are and I know where Florida's are. But let me just so, say, um, wherever the ones in Colorado are, that's who's making your chonis, ma'am. And so I don't know why you're acting so bougie and uppity, okay? Whoa. Yeah. So mm -hmm. for just another layer of perspective on those first three calls, all three of those first three calls were from November 2nd. And so I pulled the jail file from the beginning of November and on November 1st, so one day before, um, one day before she had these three calls that we just listened to, where she's, you know, E.F. Hutton and a vampire and uh, apparently a gangster associate. Um, With you, Chen. <laughs> anyway, the, the kite that she wrote the day before was, 
letting the doctor know that I am taking meds since I talked to him, except through the trap doors. I am not doing that, so that's my only times I refuse. Also, justice has been coming, wanting to take the blonde's brain. And yeah. they responded with, this information has been forwarded to the psychiatrist. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my God. And also, how can you be condescending when you're at the point in your life where you're in jail and you get the CO and you're like, look at my beautiful painting and you have smeared your own blood all over the wall and you have no wounds. None. So uh, <laughs> take several seats, Letitia. <laughs> several um, so then and while you're, out. while you're taking those several seats, why don't you also, uh, let me also point out that, um, it's not a very good picture either. Now no. I know that art is objective. Okay. And objectively <laughs> speaking, that was caca. Right. And so then there was another the kite about the food on the first. And then on the second, uh, on November 2nd, she put in a kite that said, I need to get a POA done, please. Thanks. Now she put that in at 122. So that would have been between Harley phone call number one and Harley phone call number two. <laughs> uh, oh my. And then the next one is on November 4th, which we're not there yet. But I just wanted to share those with you guys. Because I just I think it's interesting to know the, you know, the kites that she's putting in and, and know that, you know, she put that kite in between these three phone calls. Yes. She's a busy gal. Yeah. She's yeah. A busy but we can see how many realities she has going all at once. Correct. Correct. How many angles in well, her skin? We're not sure. We're not sure Pitbull where the blood came from and I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah. We're, we're not sure. This time. Yeah, um, provable. KCAT, yes, it is. Um, from what okay, all I can tell you is what we know from what was said at trial. Okay, so at trial, Harley said that she had stopped talking to her mother November of 2022. So, yes, it'd be a year this month, correct? But we don't know. Letitia says she's talking to Harley. Um, I don't know what she's doing. Uh, and we don't know exactly, uh, that's part of, we're hoping that those come out, uh, pink, I have to say this thing, pink chip, Becky, um, that's, uh, we're hoping to find that out. We don't know. Um, I, all I can tell you is what Harley said on the stand, which was that she doesn't talk to her mom and it didn't go any further than that because I, unless I just completely blanked it out, girls, what he, did it go farther than that? I no, that's all I know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because I know I know that I particularly I was interested in all of Harley's testimony, but I particularly I just added like three extra L's to particularly I particularly perked up trying to uh, see if Harley was going was going to be asked any questions about that, and I I when she wasn't by the state that was a safe move. However. I was shocked, but not really, because I'm sure that the defense knows the answer to it. And, you know, the, you're not supposed to ask the question that, you know, you know, that you don't know the answer to. And so I'm thinking the answer was not a good one as to why um, they no longer speak and that right. uh, the defense thought wisely that not to air that out. But it I mean, you know, it is what it is. Right. So, well, yeah. luckily for attorneys, sometimes not asking the question gives you more answers than the actual answer would have. Correct. Correct. <laughs> You're absolutely correct. And I, I, yeah, that's just, um, woo, so crazy. Well, girls, should we carry on to call number four? Allie, you got anything you want to add, babe? No, no, I'm ready. Ready to go, if y'all are ready. All right, here we go. Jen? Yes, ma'am. Are, are we ready to for call number four? Anything I you wanted so. to say before your notes? Okie dokie, artichokies. Here we go. Call number four. It's your daughter, <laughs> Harley. Um, um. <laughs> Jen. <laughs> Hello. Hey, sorry, I just got to come out here. Are you 
good. Me and Sadie are cuddling on the bed. Oh, wow. I was calling late to see if that lady were you back. Um, let me see. Because I didn't get her on the phone because it was so late tonight. No, she never answered. Okay, I'll have to call tomorrow then. Oh, it's freezing. Did you check your account? Yeah. Yeah, I just have to call her and make sure she's got everything right. Why are you making your problem? <laughs> Baby, what are you doing? Do you notice how I said me and Sadie are cuddling, not me and Tim? I know, I was just sitting there thinking that you must be mad at him. No, she's just an easier, easier cuddle buddy. Yeah. And she actually just sits up here. I let her cuddle with me one time, so now she thinks she has to cuddle with me like all the time. Mm. And she comes, ew, Sadie. Oh man. So she comes in here and she whines and looks at my bed. <laughs> so oh. that happened again. Oh, little baby. So I stepped up myself for the first time last night. I already work? think I need to keep it. Oh, she sat by herself because so she thinks she needs to keep a chance, but guess what? You step in your cage up here. Where is he sleeping? Downstairs. Oh, he is? Well, he doesn't like walking up. <laughs> you don't like walking up the stairs? Nope. <laughs> Not at all. Oh, this function. All right. Well, I'll call you back tomorrow to check again. I'm going to have to just call her and see what, make sure. I got, you know, people working on stuff, so it's hard doing it when I only get to come out a certain time and not, like, late at night, you know? But, um, yeah. I'm trying to find out about it being expedited. That's what I'm mainly trying to find out. But um, as soon as I find out, I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Hello, sweetie. Love you too. Bye. Hello. Hey. Hey. It's Pocky. Huh? Like I just talked to you. Do you feel like you just talked to me? Yeah, because it, weren't, it was a few hours ago. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I was going to call you to tell you I'm going to call that lady and um, make sure everything went through or whatever. Okay. Because you, you take 20? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it's just because it's a higher amount. It's probably going to take a few. It's not like just mm -hmm. passing by $1,000, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was just going to tell you that yeah. I know. I'll let you know on what I find out. Okay. I won't keep you. Okay. Hey, wait. What is the update on the books? Um, let me check my email. Okay. It is freezing you. Is it? Are they still saying, I just saw the paper, are they still saying that the um, election's too close to call? Yeah. I so, think so. Hello? Yeah. You're like, I think so, girl. You need to know about politics. No, no, nothing. <laughs> Grandma was yelling at me because I didn't vote. Not actually yelling at me, but yeah, she's yeah. like, 
she was like, we fought for the right to vote, Native American, something, blah, blah, blah. and I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have my hair straight. Hmm? You do? Oh. <clears throat> oh, Mom, guess what? What? I finally hit the goal to get paid on YouTube. Nice, nice. Yep. That's good. Yep. I finally hit it yesterday or the day before. I think it was now yesterday. <laughs> you got an email from yeah. me? Huh? Yeah, now I have little, now I have little money signs next to my videos. Nice, nice. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. All right. I guess they're still coming, huh? Huh? The books are still coming. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Love you. I love you. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Okay, I only got like five minutes because I'm about to have a, a meeting with Say somebody. What now? I said I got like five minutes because I'm about to have a meeting with somebody. Who are you having a meeting with? Uh, that guy that talked to you before, his mom. The guy that talked to me before. Yeah. He said he'd talked to you before. Okay. I don't um, know yeah. yeah, like he's, he's, he's here where I'm at. He what? He's here where I'm at, his, but his mom isn't. His mom is in Colorado Springs. So. Oh. Yeah. Is she coming to visit you? Like by video, yeah. Huh? Yeah, by video. How'd you get a video visit with her? But you can do them online. No. Has, has Harley been able to do one? No. I mean, I don't think she puts that on the top of her agenda. She probably forgets. But that's all right. She's coming because I need somebody to go help um, get that attorney. So she's the only person I know locally, you know. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Call people here because they monitor like calls and they say mm -hmm. that you can't like uh call around or whatever and so like I I guess I'm gonna get her to call around and then come back or have to drop off drop it off and then I just have to put um like accounts on it and stuff like that and sign it and then they said something about get somebody deleted or something. But I don't know I don't know who they're talking about get deleted. So, but whoever it is they're talking about I need to get them deleted. So mm -hmm. Okay. What in the world is that lady doing? Say what? I was saying what this lady was doing. Oh, okay. I said, oh, okay. Yeah. But anyway, I just want to see how you're doing. Oh, I'm good. That's good. That's good. Hold on. Yeah. No, it's going to be, no, she's taking 2500 Just 25 Write it on the paper. All right. Hey. Okay. Hmm? I said, oh, okay. 25. Let's grow. Oh, Lord. Oh, I think I'm just like done with spilling the stuff for them. You done know what? She's writing, because um, this, this, it's this girl's mom, too, that's with me. That's how I know her. And uh, she's trying to write the paper because I got to, like, got somebody coming in here to do a a notary 
So she's asked me how to spill stuff. So I'm right on there because I'm having to give them twenty five hundred dollars to do it for me. And uh, she's writing it out so she can show you what we're getting put on the notary, and she's not spelling right. Um, I had to spell mm -hmm. words for her. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, even small words like soap. I will say. Yeah. She spells soap as O P E. But yeah. Say what now? I said she spells soap S O P E. She what? Spells the word soap S O P E. Oh, bless her. I know. Mm. Yeah. I told her I would write the paper, but she's trying to, you know, she's just wanting to do something to help. But mm -hmm. her, her mom, I hope her mom's a little bit smarter. <laughs> Not being mean, but. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm. Anyway, but you, did you get the other message about uh, how I got the money? No. Uh, yeah. You didn't give me the message. Yes. Someone called you and told you how I got the money. She said that you weren't going to get that money until the divorce was. It's already fine. You said. Right. Hmm. Yeah. I didn't even know. I didn't even know it was getting divorced, but I know it's final. Yeah. How'd you I find out that it's final? I just got the paperwork. But nothing, mm -hmm. but nothing could be touched from the Florida property. And nothing could be touched from anything from the gambling because it was all my income. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what... Um, I didn't know... I didn't even know I was getting a divorce, but mm -hmm. apparently I am. But I got the paperwork. Okay. That's what made me look into it. And when I went back and looked in those journals, I was like... Oh, God, I didn't even know. I remembered that I had a Wells Fargo account. And I was like, oh, my God. I didn't even know. Like, I knew I had a Wells Fargo account, but, like, I didn't even know, like, you know, because I didn't want to have to split it, you know what I'm saying? I guess apparently that was my think, my thought process when mm -hmm. whenever I did that. But sure enough, sitting in the Wells Fargo account. Mm -hmm. Because you remember that condo from Florida uh, that we always went to? That couldn't be touched. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so everything from there that was residual was always mine and put into Wells Fargo. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. What time's your meeting? Uh, whenever the screen comes up over here, I'm just waiting. Like it's mm -hmm. already up, like the main thing's already up. I'm just waiting on it to start blinking. Doing it. Okay. Good. But anyway. Alrighty. Hope you have a good day. Well, let me know how it goes. Oh, I will. I will. She's going to go get the pre. Like, she's going to go around and talk to people. And I'm going to, I guess I'm going to have to make her. Because I can't make her. Apparently, some says I can't make Harley over my financial stuff. But she's over everything else when I send out the power of attorney, so I guess I'm going to make her over my own financial. Um, and mm -hmm. she can just go in there and um, do what I've already had to check. And I've been texting her through someone else, and she uh, gave me a confirmation number for Harley's money. But Harley said it wasn't in the account today, but people at the bank said by Friday it will be in there. So hopefully by Friday she'll have her her money. Oh, I'll okay, we'll do it. Harley can log into the bank account, but the problem is when Harley tries to do it, it keeps saying, um, it's sending, you know how it does those text codes? Mm -hmm. The verification thing? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's doing that. So um, in order for, for uh, I have to have like a power of attorney to call to uh, reset the passwords. That's what she's going to have to do. Because you can. I got the bank statement that came and because uh, I had the bank statement um, changed to check it or whatever, and 
you can see the bank statement, but the count number is only like four numbers on it on the end. Mm -hmm. So when you try to do a reset of the um, login, you got to have certain things, and I can't see but four numbers on the count number, and then I can't see, but I don't have the phone to get the code, you know what I'm saying? The text code. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing. Oh, okay. I just need to get that reset. Then Holly can log into it and just. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Holly said they can some two step or something to her phone, to another phone. Mm -hmm. To the email, but it keeps another one to the phone. So. Mm -hmm. so I'll try to get her. Okay. Uh -huh. But, all right, I'll talk to you again. If I don't get to call you back this week, I'll call you next week, okay? Okay, sounds okay. good. All right, talk to you later, okay? All right, all right. Bye. Okay, bye. Hello. Hello. All right. Well, <laughs> I couldn't tell if you were going to go into that next call with Harley or not. I was, I was. No, no, no. Should I say hello? No. <laughs> I no, no. I received the private message telling me that the, the suggested way to play this, and I have been following the suggested way to play. <laughs> I just had a little delay in changing screens. Okay. Well, what do we think, girls? What what should we talk about first? Because I know we got some stuff in the chat. So, um. well, I would just like to. I'd like to jump right in on the spelling lesson. Yeah. Because Letitia apparently knows how to spell soap, but not with several other words like right. What is that one word we were talking about last time? I keep wanting to say tchotchkes, but that's not the right thing. What is she figurines. talking about? Um, figurines. Yeah. Figurines is hard. Yeah. Damn it. Sorry. Hey, babe. I'm not trying to be mean or anything. Shut up, Letitia. Right. She said she wasn't trying to be mean. But at the same time, I just have to realize that she's a teacher. And... I just feel like she should, I just, I just picture her, you know, I mean, like, she's like, I have to spell it for them. She doesn't even know how to spell soap. And then she's making fun of, you know, this, this person, like they're stupid. And I just picture yeah. her. But in, you're an like, educator. Like, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah. That's sad. Like you're, yeah, it is sad. Plus, also, she's supposed to be a biblical scholar and the guy's name is Pontius Pilate and she calls him Pilates. So there is that <laughs> teach job. Right. Yeah. So I don't know. So, so again, we had Harley, Harley, Katrina and, um, you know, talking to Harley in, in the first one, I saw some things in chat. There was, you know, it's um, someone was frustrated because uh, people refer to that as her baby voice. I mean, you know, she talks different in different calls, right? Um, mm -hmm. I don't call it a baby voice. I like the the person. Um, I can't remember exactly who it was, but um, you know, it seemed like she would rather people say soft spoken than baby voice. You know, mm -hmm. um, as if like saying it's a baby voice is offensive to Harley. And I don't know whether it is or not. I don't call it the baby voice. I mean, it's definitely a thing. Whatever it is, I mean, we should figure out what to call it because it's definitely a thing. I don't think it's a matter of just simply soft spoken. It seems to be defensive in nature. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Active. It seems like she. It almost seems like she. I mean, I'm not. A, I'm not a psychiatrist. I don't know. It definitely just um, def seems defensive in nature, and I think that's probably from her mother, and that's why it's oftentimes, you know, well, I don't know. I think. I think that that's what it is too. Then. Yeah. Right. I, I, well, I call it. Agree. I call it the sweetie voice because I've noticed that Letitia. Um, when she's talking to her in a certain way, she uses the word sweetie, you know, like the, the way she started that letter, her don't worry about me if I escape from jail, like Ted Bundy letter. Um, mm -hmm. It was addressed to sweetie. And then, um, and, and when she calls Harley sweetie in the phone calls, uh, she's doing something with her voice that's similar to, you know, how different listening to her on these phone calls and then remembering that interview with Spencer Wilson, with her back to the camera, uh, 
I mean, that was the first time we had heard her voice, um, but that was a presentation of her voice. And she does that even in private phone calls, well, semi-private phone calls. Um, and so it's like, I, so I call that Harley's sweetie voice. And it seems like it's a reaction to um, something that she needs to deal with her mom and, in, in, you know, in the moment, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a shrink. I'm just, I'm just saying. I think Did you, Neat Noodle. Go ahead, Jen. No, no, no. No, you go ahead. Just Neat Noodle's comment was kind of interesting. Uh, so you can read it and then finish what you were going to say. Yeah. Or whatever. Okay, finish me, what you're going to say. Find, then read it. Let me find Neat Noodle's. Uh, Oh, shit. Can you give me like a like the gist of it? Because I've lost. Yeah, I'll just it. read it to you. It says it's used for appeasement, like how a dog cowers if you yell. Yes, that's what I was going to. Yes, I have to agree. That's an excellent. Sorry, Newt Noodle. Neat Noodle that I can't even talk. Neat Noodle. <laughs> um, I, maybe I shouldn't be criticizing anybody tonight. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Letitia, um, it seems like when. Um, that's exactly what it is, that it's a voice that Harley uses with Letitia. Um, it, it's almost like it, when a dog rolls over and shows their belly. It, it's yeah. like her submissive yeah. voice. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and I, I think it's a way. Um, it's packaged. <laughs> needle. It, yeah. And uh, <laughs> we all have that voice. OK, we yeah. all have like the voice that we use, like the, my kids know that there i can call them by their full government name right it's not the full government name that gets their attention it's the tone so if i'm talking through my teeth they know i'm not playing right but if i'm you know if i'm just saying their full out government name it's usually because they've said something ridiculous and i'm about to laugh so um that's yeah, I mean, I just and, and that's not, um, you know what, it's just like anything else, it's something that she has um adapted as like mm -hmm. a like a tool in a in a toolbox, you know, and yeah, and and I'm not, and, you know, just like anything else, it's it's something that she's learned or adapted or you know, whatever. Um, it can be used in good ways, it could be used in bad ways, it you know, that just having that tool in your toolkit doesn't make you a um, you know, it doesn't mean it's a negative or a positive, a positive thing. It's just, <laughs> it is it different is. than her regular voice. It is, it is something that is packaged. It's, it's something, you know, I mean, I'm yes. not saying and I haven't figured extent, out, but. No. And to an extent, Letitia does it as well. Letitia oh, absolutely has, she does. Uh, you know, and I think that, I think it's really hu a human nature thing. And I think that, um, like I've, we've said it, we've talked about Harley a lot on all of our channels and everybody has and is welcome to whatever opinion you have about uh, Harley. You know, that's the nice thing about opinions. You know, we're, I'd like to hear them all. And I don't, I, it's fine. And I get excited and I love it when you guys express your opinions in the chat, as long as you guys are being respectful of one another and of me and the guests on the panel, say whatever you want to say. It's cool. Like, you know, everybody, I, I don't, we don't be censoring over here. Um, I don't. And the thing of it is with Harley, and I think this is important to remember, we're listening to two calls that are made between Harley and Letitia in jail, right? This is a unique situation. Okay. They're both. And I was talking to Jen about this earlier and I want, I think this is important. So please let me be on my soapbox just for a moment. Da -da. So there's a show. Here I go. So there's this movie called Cinema Verite, and it is based on the very first reality TV show that was ever done. And it was before they called it a reality TV show. It was a family that they filmed and it was aired on PBS. And one of the things that they talked about in this movie, that's actually the show is real. Um, it's based on the, the character. It's based on the family in the show. Anyway, that aired on PBS. One of the things about Cine that they learned is that all organisms, when they are being watched, change their behavior. Even microorganisms change their behavior under a microscope. And right. so the fact is, Harley knows that she's being reported. 
patient knows that she's being recorded. So they're going to adapt and change their behavior just because of that one factor. And it's also a strenuous situation. You know, um, we don't know what Harley knew. We don't know when she knew it. At the end of the day, for whatever reason, the state saw fit not to charge her. And that's all that we, that's what we can say 100% for fact. Why they didn't charge her, we don't know. What evidence they may have had her against her, we also don't know that. But at the end of the day, we know that they investigated her and what and they and they decided not to charge her. I that's all we do know for sure. Um yeah. so I you know, I think that for those people that want to cut Harley some slack, cool. If you don't want to cut Harley slack, that's cool too. But that's, that's all I, how I am. Yes, I don't I don't take offense to anybody's opinion about Harley. And I think that, you know, unless they were saying like like now I, I no, let me take that back actually. I've heard one person talk about her on video and it was just so aggressive and demeaning and weird. I definitely took offense to that. But most times no. And um yeah, so I just think that we're all respectful over here. And, you know, we don't all have to think the same thing. That It, it is what it is. But um, like Jen said, the truth is they, they were investigating her. That is, proffers are often, you know, given to someone who may be facing charges in the future and, and that kind of thing. And it's, they can't use what you say against, against you, but you have to tell the truth. Um, so, you know. It doesn't really matter how you feel about it. At the end of the day, though, think about this. Even Bentley does like a baby voice with me, and especially if he wants something or whatever. This is mother and child, so the dynamic is definitely a little different than, you know, your average person. And it's not only mother and child. It's very narcissistic, t uh, you know, many different personality disorders, yeah. mother and child. Yes, and child. So... It is what it is. Right. So again, we go from, we go Harley, Harley, Katrina. And the last two calls were back to back. And then with Katrina, she goes right into, you know, again, you know, she says, well, I got a visit coming up, you know, I mean, she's absolutely toying with Katrina. And uh, the video visit is with, you know, E's mom. And, and, uh, and, and Letitia did that thing. Remember on the pretext calls where she printed, pretended there was a kid in the car when she was talking to Albert? Yes. So, yes oh yeah. Tell your yes. mom I'll be in there in a minute. Yeah. You, you, like there's, yeah. there's no in the car, Letitia. I am in a different state and I can tell there's nobody in the car. Can we just get on with it? it th that's what I felt like she was doing. She's like, no, 2,500. Yeah. 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 Write it on the paper. It, it, she had the exact same demeanor that she did when she was pretending, you know, or or when, you know, she was using the Indian guy's phone and car or just, yes. no, I think she just said the phone like she, I just had to borrow a phone from an Indian guy. And then you hear her get yes. in the car and drive away. And it's like, uh, aren't you going to give that guy's phone back? Right. Exactly. Like, it, what, did he just let you borrow it till the end of time, Letitia? Right. I think it was that ceiling where I'm from. <laughs> oh, God. She had me cracking up when she was talking about that. Was that Al? I think it was Allie. I'm almost positive. I don't know. But anyway, it felt the same. Like, oh, yeah, she's only going to keep 2,500. Yeah, write it on that paper. Uh-huh. But yeah. she's saying that, you know, pointed away from the phone, but for Katrina's benefit. You know, it's just such bullshit. And, um, and so that lady sent the confirmation number for Harley's money and it should be there by Friday. So uh, November 4th, which is when that last call with Katrina was, that's a Wednesday. Um, so like two days from that day is when this money is supposed to appear in Harley's account. But then there was also like some, some pre-ready excuse about, uh, you know, sending, sending the access code to a phone number that they don't have anymore kind of thing. Um, There's ways around that, Letitia. Stop playing with these people out here. It's not like online banking is a new thing. Shut up. Right. And then she mentioned a condo in Florida and that's what she was talking about with the rental property. Remember when I saw that kite and I was like, what do you mean you need a 2021 tax form? Now it makes property? sense. 
Right. So it's starting to come together. And this is apparently uh, Chance's aunt, I, I guess, had a, a timeshare that she had something to do with. I mean, it's all clearly a lie. But um, so apparently Letitia had side money that nobody knew about. And it was from this timeshare condo in Florida. And she also had, you know, a separate account for gambling that they couldn't touch in the divorce. And Katrina's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And so then Letitia says, yes, we do. Somebody called you. Somebody called you and told you. And I'm just like, you know, and again, yeah. it's something that Letitia has set up and, and pulled people into to try and make. I, I mean, it's, oh, it's just fascinating in a bad way. In a bad yes. way. I am in no way impressed by any of this. <laughs> okay. Can we please address this um, insurance situation? Insurance the, situation. The, the life insurance on Gannon. Because what about it? I've, I've been watching in the chat and okay. We're, there's, I honestly, I think the question is how many, in, how many life insurance policies were on Gannon? Who took them out on Gannon and who was the beneficiary? And I guess there's a kerfuffle about Harley taking Al off of it. And I, yeah. I keep saying that there was, um, that there was um, two different policies or maybe that there's just. Some no, confusion. no, I so think I, I know what you're talking about. Uh, okay. Okay. I think I know what you're talking okay. about because I've seen it get confused lately between whether Harley took Albert off of the life insurance policy or took Albert off of the auto insurance policy. Um, and I understand how those two things can get, you know, can become confused. Um, but um, so, so here, so here it is. Uh, there was a $100,000 life insurance policy on Letitia that was taken out in 2017. And there were two rider uh, there were separate rider policies for Lena and Gannon, and those were $25,000 each. And um, when, when Harley took Albert off of the insurance policy, they are not talking about auto insurance. They are talking about life insurance. And I know that because I've seen the letter that the life insurance company wrote to them or, you know, to Letitia at the jail, mind you, um, you know, saying that, you know, we made the change that, that you requested and, and so on and so forth. Um, so that's, uh, but I understand why it's easy to confuse that with the auto insurance policy, because before Letitia was arrested, Letitia tried to take Albert off of his own insurance. Yes, she did. And we heard those and, in and, the pretext and, calls. She also accused him of doing it to her. That was all yes. between Letitia and Albert. Harley had nothing to do with that. But when Letitia was arrested, Harley, of her own volition, uh, thought process, will, all the good stuff, uh, Harley decided to log into her mother's life insurance policy and remove Albert and put herself 100% on, on, on the rider. Um, so there's Which, that. On the rider for Gannon or the rider for her mother or what? You, please um, explain. Let me let let me actually look to be sure because I haven't looked at that document since the trial started. That document came okay. out right before trial, like within the same week. Um, now, do we know when she did that? We know it was after Harley's uh, or after Letitia's arrest. Right. Within was a day. Before oh, so before Gannon was found. Then. So yeah. then it was before Gannon was found. Okay, it was before he was found. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, um, I can look really quick, actually. I mean, okay, B. Crumbs has a question. I think this is, I'm, and I want to make, to be clear, I feel like th that there was a discussion in the chat about it. I didn't, I, kerfuffle was the wrong word, forgive me, um, because I, nobody's being rude to anybody. And, and I can see the discussion going on in the chat. And I wanted to make sure that we address this. Because let's get the information out and accurate as best we, you know, as much as we can before, um, you know, because we we don't want to be giving misinformation. Now, crime curious from this is from B Crumbs. <clears throat> yes. What isn't 
Leticia Stout, the owner of that policy, though? Correct. Was it her policy? Yes. yes. There you go. Okay. 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 Yeah, but I definitely understand how how it could be confused with the uh, auto insurance because there was there was a lot of games going on with those insurance policies as well. Um, okay. But Harley didn't do it. I have to say, I will. I to be to be perfectly honest, I know that there are other jail calls that have been released. I have not listened to all of those. So when you guys are saying, "Well, they were talked about in earlier calls," I believe you. I just haven't listened to them. So um, um, that's why I'm asking, and and also I want to make sure that um, you guys questions get answered and that the um, answer is clear for everybody. So there we go. Okay. Now Rebecca wants to know, didn't Alan Landon get the payout? Not Harley, correct? Correct. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, the only other notes that I have on that, that call with Katrina, um, if you remember when Letitia was being all cryptic and she was like, I don't know, they're talking about getting somebody deleted. And, and this is right after she's talked about this money that the gangsters are sending her. Right. 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 I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They said something about somebody getting deleted. I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, you know, and she just made a big deal of it. And so then right. you have to, you know, as you're following this creep, you have to think of all the different ways that that can be taken and what she could possibly mean. And then add that with her history of behavior. Oh, it's, it's not fun. Anyway. In this case, I think that what she was talking about is deleting her current attorneys off of the case and putting the new private attorneys on. Okay. But she specifically said it in a way that was meant to be taken wrong, as Correct. if she was talking about some sort of assassination. Some you type know. of threat. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I, I just I can't help the t my tone right now. I'm sorry for, I'm, you know, I, I know that I no, probably sound snarky, fine. but. No, you know, after story. after a while, she's just so frustrating. It is and, frustrating. It's all of this is extremely frustrating. And um <laughs> excuse me, part of this is also and why we're doing this, and I cannot stress this enough, is that there are layers to Letitia's baloney, okay, and her manipulation her triangulation, all the things. There's layers to it. And there's different reasons why she does different things. Some things that she lies about and manipulates are to um, are to, to um, control an immediate narrative or con or scam or whatever, right? Then there are other things that are lied about at the exact same time that are actually for a bigger scheme and plan that is going to happen later on down the road. And so it's very frustrating to listen to all of this and um, make sense of all of it, especially because it is my personal belief. I have no, I don't have anything right this minute. That doesn't mean I won't, but right now, as I speak, it's my personal opinion that Letitia set in motion the insanity plea that would later be used in her defense at trial long before she was at long before we saw it happen through the courts where the filings occurred. It's my opinion that Letitia had started plotting this situation with um, the, the insanity around, around probably September mm -hmm. of 2020. And what we're seeing, in my opinion, in these calls where she talks about, you know, it's about to be eating season, all that's, you know, the, yeah. all the things, right? This is the this is the setup to that. But simultaneously, she's working a, another con where she's blaming some organization for Gannon for actually being the one that's murdered Gannon and that they're paying her to shut the fuck up, except for she's talking about it on a recorded phone call, negating the STFU part of whatever it was. You see what I'm saying? So it's hard to, you know, 
it's always layered with her. Welcome back, Allie. Ooh, your profile picture's cute. I like it. Right. Yeah. Well, she knows that they're still investigating. She's, mm -hmm. I mean, she's just trying to further throw them off from, from the jail. It's, it's no different than the first Eduardo story or him running away or cash belly pregnant lady or, you know, I mean, any of it, it's just, it's just a continuation of, so now she's, she, knowing that people are listening to her calls and watching her every move, one of her cons, because there's several all at once, but one right. of her cons is just that to, uh, she thinks that she's still directing the tree that investigators are going to bark up, you know? Where is it? Let me and she's it. like, Hold here's the wrong now. tree. Here's the wrong tree. And also, I'm sorry, I let my phone die like a jerk. I didn't even notice that it was dying because I had that, like, usually when it starts to die, I turn the contrast up and then I forget that it's dying. That's what I did. So I had to get Bentley's phone. And then this was just a picture that was on his phone. So I had to use that. But yeah, I mean, well, we're going to put this as the overlay really quick. Right. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Tisha. But yeah, I mean, and, and that's and so when we're when we're sitting listening to the calls, you guys, you, we, we're all keeping in mind that um, there's several schemes and plans and plots going on simultaneously. But that's why, you know, I we were so adamant about getting these. This we wanted to hear all of the schemes. This is part of Gannon's story because it's my opinion. And it's just an opinion, so you can take it, you know, for what it's worth, which is just exactly nothing. But um, the truth of the matter is, this is a glimpse into what Harley, Gannon, and Lena went through in their day to day. This is the monster that they lived with, and that's why when I, it's that's another reason why we wanted um, to do these calls because I, we, this is, you know, whew. She had a damn mess. Damn. Getting off that soapbox kind of hurt my back. Not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Onward. Onward and upward. 789. Let's go. Okay, so we're at 7. So I play 789, or do I take a break? No, let me see what the directions say. Let me check my notes. <laughs> They were yes. merely suggestions given my experience. Suggestions, oh. directions, but you're the merely one that listens to them. All right. So we're going to play seven, eight, nine together, and then we're going to take a break, you guys. Okay. Good night, MK. Well, you listen to them. So I trust you. Good night, MK. Sweet dreams, MK Lynn. All right. Here we go. Some more Tasha Lynn. Good night, MK Lynn. <laughs> Nothing. Just that word. Cool, cool, cool. I work, I work. I just wanted to call you really quickly. Huh? And I just wanted to call you really quickly. <laughs> Did you check your account today? Yeah. I signed up to make a phone call. Like, um, so I'm gonna see what they say so I can call to get a better idea instead of going to a third party because you know sometimes people might not understand, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Huh? Two two of your books should be there tomorrow. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> You said that you can't have hardcover? Yeah, no hardcover. Okay. Because I was trying to order this one because I wanted, because I was reading one of Sadie Robertson's and I wanted you to read one. But I think all of her books are all hardcover, so I couldn't order it. Yeah, no, they don't. Only hardcover. I mean, no hardcover. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I got one hardcover here one time and then. I had it for like two months and then they came in and they were like, oh, they were like, you can't have this hardcover because I was reading on my thing and said I was doing a devotional every day. And so I went and looked in my whole room because I had to find it like I saw it on my journal and written. I was like, where's this darn hardcover thing at? This, this hardcover book, this devotional, where the heck is that? So I was looking everywhere for this devotional book. 
this and I was like, it's mm. just, I had it because apparently in my journal I would write down like whatever the the, the verse was for the day for the devotional, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, mm-hmm. so I was looking back through it and it was saying like August, September or something like that, whenever it was that, that um, they took the hardcover book because it, they, it said that people hit their heads or something with hardcover books. So that's how I knew that mm-hmm. was you weren't about hardcover, so I was like, oh, dang. Because I was looking everywhere, I was mm-hmm. like, I'm supposed to have this, this book, this devotional book somewhere, because it had good stuff in there, and like, and I, I, it was written in like my journals, it'd be like, today I read about uh, this, and it would say the scripture, and this, and I'd be like, well, where in the heck is this book at? <laughs> so then I thought mm-hmm. maybe I, I gave it back to them and didn't know it. And then I was like freaking out about it, then I found out later on that they took it. That's crazy. Guess who's winning the election? Who? Joe Biden. Mm-hmm. And I learned about politics yesterday. <laughs> hmm. Well, they're not going to let that go easy. Yeah, people right. keep saying something about how he's raising the taxes, so basically half of what you make is going to be taken out. Who's raising them? Like, if he wins, that's what he's doing, is he's raising all taxes. Mm-hmm. To, like, 50-something or something, 48 or something. That's called the Democratic parties take from people and give to people so people can have free stuff. Mm-hmm. Free handouts. But he's at like he's at like two sixty four, and Donald Trump's at two fourteen. But yeah, but I learned that all the voting. But North Carolina sixteen points, Pennsylvania, all that, and then the whole thing in Michigan's going to have to be redone. Yeah, I learned about the whole, like, voting thing yesterday and how it works. So if, if there are, like, real colleges doing all the work, then, like, why do people even vote? If there's really, if you really can't even win off the people's vote. Because you shouldn't be popular vote, because that, that if you just do popular vote, then a lot of times you just need certain, you need like 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 for example Hillary Clinton the vote instead of Donald Trump when she um when they four years ago, right? Because she had the most votes. But she didn't run the like mm-hmm. college a college book because that's how democracy is. But the seats are based upon population. Like I think North Carolina has like sixteen um Alaska has like three. Different Hawaii has like four. Yeah. So it depends on that. But then you got like Wisconsin, which you think there's hardly nobody there, but they have like 10. But then you got like California, mm-hmm. like probably like 50 some, 55 ish or something like that. Um, but see, the mm-hmm. is always going to be blue. It's always going to yeah. be blue. Yeah. <laughs> so there's 50 days. So it's like they cancel out. So, like, in school, when I was a kid, was why like, is it that like every single celebrity is always blue? That's just because they don't. Um, they want to claim to helping people because they don't want anything taken from them. Because that's all you would see every single celebrity post. They're like, I'm voting for Joe Biden. They don't want to post who Joe Biden was Obama's partner. So, you know, the whole world loves Obama. So, yeah. Another thing, too, but, you know, I mean, I figured it out. It's um, 268, so like the Wisconsin thing would change. It's 264. Oh, 264. Well, when the red states calculate, it will put 268. So it would be 268. But doesn't it? But I thought someone said that it doesn't matter whoever gets to 270 first. So then after then, all the other things don't matter. No, not when they haven't counted. Oh, okay. Because because if that was the case, 
then states could just hold their ballots and be like, oh, we're not counting right now. Just to keep from it calculating. You see what I'm saying? And they yeah. Didn't let that I knew that didn't make sense. They were like, no. Because when he was like, no, it doesn't matter. It just means whoever gets there first. And I was like, huh? So I was like, so all those other votes that haven't been even put in yet, like, they just, just are just thrown away or something? <laughs> well, you have to win like, it by a certain amount. That's what they're probably talking about. Because, like, and, I think it's 500, if I'm remembering right, which my memory is a little crazy, it's 548, I think, might be the total of votes. 544 or 548 is one of them. But I think I figured it out. If the Wisconsin shifted, and then Nevada, he would have to win Nevada then if Wisconsin was blue. And then he'd win about one point, I think it would be, or something like that. But I had a dream that the votes were 270 to 271. And this was before it even, even happened. But that ain't right because the, the numbers wouldn't have a right. For the total. Hmm. Then, it, then it was like, okay, maybe that was a four and not a one. You have 60 seconds remaining. But that's still an equal. Well, that's seconds. weird. That's a, they never say that. I know, 60 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd you learn to EC from? Huh? Who'd you learn to EC from? Just everybody was just talking about well, it. You should have learned it in your government class in your one of your history classes. I mean, I'm sure I did, but, <clears throat> you know. Mm -mm -mm. But they're going to try to then probably impeach him if he get or get him out on the 25th Amendment because they're trying to say he's got dementia. Who? Trump. If he's the one that's trying to say he's got early signs of dementia. Oh, my. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Love you, sweetie. Talk to you later. Okay, I love you too. Bye. Bye. Hey. Uh, yeah, so we got cut off. Um, no. uh, what I was going to say to you is I hope you're not part of these, uh, these, these crazy conspiracy people. They're crazy. All of them. They're all crazy. I've never heard anybody in my life. So don't. What are them. some of the conspiracies that are they saying? I don't know. I just hear, re I read stuff that people send me or like you just said uh -oh. or like whatever. That's what I'm saying. There's well, that's why they have you in there. You said, why am I in here? And I said, that's, that's what the charges are. I, I mean, know. the charges from the court system or whatever. It's still game stopping conspiracy. That's what it all well, is. Well, I know that, but they're but still going to make you I go through the justice system. They're not, I mean, they're going to force you through there. They're going to take you to court and say, what do you say about this? What do you say about that? That's why I was just saying, if you knew what happened for real, just tell them. Just be dumb. How can just I like, say hey. anything when I don't even know what these people are talking about? Like, do you really think? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not like. Okay. 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 I only take like five minutes. Um. Do you think I really like um even know what some of this stuff is they like, even saying like? I'm trying to, like, tell you as my friend, I have no idea sometimes some of the stuff that people are asking me. I really don't. I'm living my life off of reading stuff that I've apparently wrote down over the last few months. Yeah. Like, I, I swear. I see that's tough, though, that if you don't remember them, that's, that's not good, because then. I mean, all I know is I've read what I, like, what was written down. Um, I think it was, like, April something. Um, I don't remember yeah. the exact date, but like I've read that, but like none of it even makes any sense. Like I don't even know what it has to do with the whole delivering the figurines thing, but it's got something to do with it. But delivering the know. figurines. Yeah, the figurines with the money in it. I don't even know what they're talking about. Like I know what that is, but I know I told them no. And I don't know anything about that either. So that's where I'm just like, like, I have no idea. I would never, ever hurt anyone. That's why this blows my And mind. I know. That's why I, I don't think you hurt him. I, I just, they think you did. Like well, the, they can think the all they want to because I don't even believe anybody's hurt. That's why I believe this is a whole big, like, crazy game stopping scheme, whatever. Doesn't make any sense to me. None of it. Like, I would never hurt someone. I was 
abused as a child, sexually, emotionally, mentally, why would I hurt someone? Yeah. I know. And you took care of those kids like they were your own. So I just don't understand any of this. Like, to me, it's just like... I think the only reason is because you're the last person that saw him. I don't even know that. That's the thing. Yeah. I don't even know that. And I read it, and I read what I wrote down in April, and I'm like, what in the world? What does this make any sense? Why in the world was I talking about my stepdad? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, I didn't feel any kind of emotions. He was hit by a car on my brother's birthday. And I know, like, yeah. he haunts me. Like, I know that. But at the same time, it's like, was he haunting me? I don't know. How am I supposed yeah. to know? I don't know. I mean, it sucks. Like, the situation that you're in is not good. And if you could remember everything, I feel like it would make it easier. But I mean, I mean if you I can't have, remember everything, it's hard. I have written down April. But am I supposed to be like. Yeah, but here? this would have been January. No, listen to me. I have written down April. What, like, what you're asking me, everything is written down on April, right? But I don't okay. remember it. So what am I supposed to do? Hand you a piece of paper and be like, not you, but you can. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Am I supposed to be like, here? Well, that's what you need to probably tell. You're supposed to get, I thought you're supposed to have like a doctor, like a psychiatrist. I don't know anything like, about that. Like, you or something? I only know about the one that he wasn't able to help me or do anything for me because they weren't going to touch anything. So that was the guy that came here. Huh. And he came in, he came in here and sit down beside me. Okay. But that was I know he was supposed to, but I know he, they pushed that back. Like, he was supposed to come a while ago, but they pushed it back because I guess there's so many coronavirus cases in the jail. No. Yeah, I don't know. No. They gave everybody a test for some kind of disease, and nobody in where, I, where I'm at now, no one has it, but I don't know about other places. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's good. So, yeah. Um... But they said well, hopefully he'll come back. And he's supposed to talk. He's supposed to be like talking to, evaluating your mental state. So you would tell him about how you abuse as a kid and stuff like that. But I've already did all that. According to my journal, I talked to some lady. Yeah, about it. you did at a different facility, and they found you competent. No, and no, your attorney no. asked to push it again. Amanda. This lady's name was Amanda, and she's how long on my defense team. According to my journal, she's supposed to be on my fence team, and she already knew all that. But that has nothing to do with whether or not someone is mentally okay or not. So I don't know who's getting the wrong whatever, because I'm not crazy. Yeah, that's what they're trying to prove, that you're not crazy. Well, it's whoever you talk to, a site, or I think it's a psychiatrist has to, I don't know how they do it. I don't know. I guess they ask you questions and talk to you. And then they go back and tell the judge. I'm not crazy. That that doesn't make a person crazy just because I've had so many head injuries in here. So many. That's not good. How? I I don't know. Well, I can give you the dates on the journals. <laughs> like were the people in there like hurting you? And some of them were like I um, had to fell down. One of them said I passed out. Another one said my body was like a norm on the left side. And I couldn't move it for a while. And mm-hmm. that's when I started getting like, uh, I was having a problem, like just remembering what day it was or what year. You know what I'm saying? Was yeah. So, well, that. I mean, you, you thought special ed, you probably had a traumatic brain injury. So I just consistently kept, I guess, getting hurt. I remember something about some boots. And I don't, that's what I said. My, Thing, but I didn't explain it what the boots meant. So that's why I don't know what it's talking about. Do they take you? Do you have like a nurse, like a doctor in there and everything? No, they don't do that here. They don't have these people. They just have some of these guards, like these concentration camp guards here. But they don't have like doctors and stuff like that. 
they have nurses. The nurses are really nice, but they just give you, they just give people like meds. They just like offering people meds. Mm. That's what they do. They I, don't know. I just feel like if you hit your head and stuff, they should be worried about that. I had blood all over me. Jeez. Yeah, but they just think because the whole feeding thing, I had the blood, but I told them that was a feeding season. So they just, they're like, whatever. Get me. They got me a new shirt, but. No, it's just, it's just kinda, yeah. All right, well, I gotta go back to class with my okay. kids, but I'll let you know if I find anything you have to turn in. Class? Huh? You have in a minute. Class? What are you? Not doing? yet. Teaching. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know you. I thought you had a baby. Yeah. Or something. Okay. No, 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 not the. No, no, no. <laughs> None for me. Talk to you later. Bye. 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 Hey. Hello. Hey. Hi. So, um, the person, who, the the one paper they were waiting on that had my signature and all that, I guess is just sitting on someone's desk somewhere or whatever. Apparently, they got corona really bad here, so I think stuff has been shut down again or whatever. So I guess whenever somebody goes through the mill and processes that, that's probably why there's a delay. Chance, stop. Chance! Chance! No! I'm tired of you. Stop! Okay. Okay. Anyway, do you hear what I said? Yeah. Alright. So that's my wife. Sorry. Right. Chance is fighting, fighting Sadie and Sadie's leg is hurting. Her leg's hurt? Why? I don't know. Either from him, like when he was pulling on it, or she, I don't know, she just went in. She's okay, though. He better not be hurt, my baby. I don't know. Uh, I can't just said that she's overreacting because she held her and massaged her leg and everything. And but she was fine. She, she can, she's just faking it all. She's just faking she's fine, but she's really not fine. She needs her bandage she, and everything. Oh my gosh. Now That's what she's waiting bandage. on. Is her bandage. She's waiting on her bandage to be bandaged up and everything. That's what she's waiting on. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anyway. What y'all doing? Lady! Now she's eating something. What are y'all doing? <sighs> Nothing, just sitting in the living room. Did, did you pay your um your rent? Yeah. All right. Hopefully you'll have everything by the next time. Still need to pay my electricity, but it what? Said I still need to pay my utility bill, but yeah. All right. We'll just keep paying in there. You know, this whole thing. I have my utility bill, then I have my phone bill, and then I have my renter's insurance bill. Renter's insurance should be like 20 bucks. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, like, in total, that's like 200 and some yeah. dollars. But. Yeah, 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 I got you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> she just fell over. She plopped mm -hmm. over. Sadie, she just plopped over. Yeah, so Give me that. Stop eating whatever you're eating. Hopefully Get by you. next time you'll have it. Um, I don't know what the hold up is. I just knew that I don't have the login. If I had the login, I would just give you the login. But, but the power of attorney, you can get the login, but you ain't gonna be able to get it until you get you should send until you get the power of attorney paper. You should send. Um, What's the login to? To the bank account. What bank account? To the Wells Fargo Bank. I can't just call them or something? They're, because the account is just sitting there, nobody has, like, the only thing is asking for verifications. So the verification codes that they want, they want to send them to the phone numbers. The phone numbers on file aren't the same. That's why I needed my, like, the paper signed and the ID and then send you the power of attorney. So that's mm. why I... Uh, I got it. You got to get the power of attorney, and then you can call and change over like stuff or whatever. And then the, <clears throat> it'll all just work out. It's just a matter of 
I, it's hard doing it through a third party who is trying to reset stuff, but they keep, it'll go to my Yahoo, but my Yahoo is not first, it's secondary. So if my Yahoo was first, you could just get it right on login, but it's not. That, um, What's your first? Phone number. Um, See what I'm saying? Yeah. And nothing is going to be uh, reset without it. <clears throat> so. But anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. Apparently, like, 700 some people here have it now. In the jail? Yeah. Mm. Right now where I'm at, half the people have Look at her faking her legs. She is not faking. She really has a problem. She'll lift it up and put it down. They're waiting for me to get them water. Okay. I'll let you go do that. I just want to call you real quick. Okay. Love you. Love you so much. Bye. 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 Hey. All right. Um, you there? Wow. So we had a little <laughs> civics lesson. Oof. Yeah. Which, I mean, I was done. I was waiting to hear if she would get the, the answer correct. She did. The, the electoral college is to keep more populated states from, you know, running the country. You know, that makes sense. Uh, she got it right. I mean, her explanation took four score and seven years, but she got it right eventually. Right. Well, I mean, I just feel like she missed a perfect opportunity to actually teach something. Um, you know, she says that she's a natural teacher. But if you're trying to teach politics to someone who knows nothing about politics, you start local. You know, you don't you don't start with a presidential election and try to explain it, you know, inward. Um, you start local. And what what better position could you be in, Letitia, you know, to teach Harley about the local politics? Um you know, the sheriff is elected. And in fact, this is this is November of 2020. So Michael Allen is about to be elected as the district attorney in Colorado Springs, taking the place of Dan May. Um, they were both Republican candidates, but Dan May was done. And Mike Allen wasn't running against anyone at all. But but the story that Letitia wanted to tell is that he was, you know, persecuting her because he needed her big time case to win an election. You know, that's that's her. This woman should not be teaching people about politics. OK, no, 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 no. She is definitely not qualified to teach a civics class. That's correct. Right. And and the truth is, the reason why you were charged is because, well, you did it. And right. um, and and he was. <laughs> He wasn't running against anyone. You were, you were a very, I, I mean, oh God. Yeah. I just feel like she missed the opportunity to, to teach the little lesson in politics that she wanted to teach. And, and you'd think she'd, she, you'd think that she would be better at it. Um, somebody told me a long time ago that politics is the art of controlling your environment. And that really is Letitia's thing, right? You know, absolutely controlling yeah. her environment. Uh, she wants, you know, every brushstroke has to be hers. And um, my. That. Oh, no, no, I just uh, that, that that was it. I just. Um, <laughs> it's just so backwards. And, and yet she believes herself. I do believe that she believes that she is this thing that she calls a natural teacher. And you know what you, I mean, listen, I've learned a lot from bad examples a lot. Yeah. It's like, uh, not all mathematicians are problem solvers. Um, the problem causers actually play a role in mathematics as well. You know, um, you have to have a problem to solve. 
Uh, so you're oh, welcome. <laughs> I don't know. And I got a little back. Okay. Um, my favorite part though was how she got on her high horse about everybody wanting a handout. That was my favorite oh, right. part. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wasn't it uh, Democratic people take from people to give out? Um, yes, Kilo's entered the building. Uh, Kilo has entered the chat. Yeah, Kilo's entered the oh, chat. Oh, I need, you, I need you to send me a picture of him so we can make him an emoji, uh, a sticker for the channel. Okay. He needs a sticker. You want to be a sticker? Did you have a snatch? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Look, he just came right. Oh, you know, you know how he does that thing where he turns his head because it's like yes. he's trying to understand what you're saying? Because you know he's a hound here. and they're highly intelligent. Yes. Hounds are extremely smart dogs. Soulful too. Hounds and labs, they're my favorite. All animals are my favorite, but there's something oh, special. Funny. Yeah, but uh, she's on her high horse talking about handouts. Ma'am, can I please just take a second to remind you that you're living on everybody else's dime. Your defense was paid for by the taxpayers. Shut up. Okay, I have to have you excuse me for a moment. He's okay. okay with being a sticker, but what he really needs is for me to put him in bed and there's a blanket involved. It's a whole big thing. Don't judge me, but I'll be right back. Okay, we'll make you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I love that. Um, what do you think? Babe? Oh my God. Her call with Amy, it was very infuriating. Like, yes. Ugh. Just hearing her like make excuses and the oh I don't know and and then her friends like well I don't believe you would hurt anyone but you know they think you did it so if you know what happened well, I've had so many head injuries in here lady <laughs> would you stop with the fucking head injuries Jesus I, I can't oh sorry <laughs> you frustrate me just a I, little <laughs> I am I, while you guys um while we were listening to that, I was Googling the symptoms of traumatic brain injury in adults. Okay. So, because I don't believe, I mean, listen, nobody hits their head like Leticia. It's, it's a statistical anomaly. Okay. She's never complained of any of this stuff though. Listen, headache that gets worse or will not go away. Loss of vision in one or both eyes, repeated vomiting or continued nausea slurred speech, convulsions or seizures, an inability to wake up. So those are some just general uh, symptoms. And this was from November 24th of 2020. So um, I just, I, feel like Letitia is, you know, lying again about all of it. You know what I mean? Like, yep. she just makes it up. Yep. And then doesn't he, she makes it up and doesn't even get it right. Now, granted, she doesn't have access to Google in, in the clink. <laughs> oh, my back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys didn't hear most of the symptoms? Okay, my bad. Let me repeat that again. Okay. Headache that gets worse or will not go away. Loss of vision in one or both eyes. These are symptoms of moderate or severe traumatic brain injury. Okay. Um, repeated vomiting or continued nausea, slurred speech, convulsions or seizures, an inability to wake from sleep, Enlargement of the pupil, dark center of one or both eyes. So there you go. Yeah, you cut out for like, you, you. we heard most of it, but you cut out for like a few seconds and I thought it was just me. So I wasn't going to say anything at first. I was like, uh, and then you like glitched for a second. So I was like, okay, my internet's just bad right this second. And then you came back. So it must've been for everybody. So sorry about that. Or was I it for everybody? You know. <laughs> did, did everybody hear the second list all the way through the second time I did it? Did you guys get all yes. the symptoms? Yes. Yes. Okay. I did. Okay. Good. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So again, Letitia's a lying liar face who tells lies. The end. But now <laughs> let's move on to the important call. Now, beyond the civics, Wait. beyond the traumatic brain injury. 
which was part of the, the important call. So I want to tell you guys, and this, we have to give an extra, so let's give uh, Crime Curious some extra love in the chat. Because last she night, did. well, I'm going to tell you what she did. What <laughs> happened was, so we got these calls last night, late in the day. Um, we got them at like 5 o'clock Eastern time, 5.30, I think is when the email came through. So Jen is rushing home from work. And we're on a phone call and she and I were talking. Allie was, um, Allie had to go for a little bit. <clears throat> anyway, so Jen and I were, so we get a, um, a list of the calls, okay? Um, <clears throat> and she was trying to line them up with the files and we are missing a call. We're missing a couple of calls that were redacted. I two guess calls. because, or two calls for whatever I guess they had um, information on them, something we weren't supposed to hear, whatever they, El Paso decided we, we were not to get them. But <clears throat> but the call logs don't indicate that. The call logs are every call. So she, we were trying to ask, she was trying to figure out, there is a call that took place before this one. Yes. Where Amy and Leticia are talking. We don't have that call. And so when we heard call number nine or, or number eight, eight, excuse me, yeah, number eight, there's a call before that. And this is a, the call number eight is a continuation of a conversation that Amy and Leticia were having prior to this in which they were discussing the case. And that may be exactly why we didn't get that call. Right. But you would think after trial, you know, why? Why would that be redacted now? Um, maybe they said that the only reason they keep them is personal information. But I mean, of all the times that we want, you know, that I would want to hear right. her reaction, because I'm not sure what her reaction, I can call her next move on almost anything. But when confronted by her friend, Amy, um, who's telling her the actual reasons why she's in jail, you know, as if she doesn't know. Right. But, right. you know, finally, instead of kind of, you know, bobbing her head and going, uh-huh, like Katrina and Amy have been doing with all this crazy talk. Apparently in the call that was redacted, Amy said, no, you're not there for training. You're not getting any special powers. You're there because you've been charged with homicide. Uh, Gannon's homicide. And, and, and then Letitia's like, well, I just want to make sure you're not part of that conspiracy. And she's talking about game stopping again. Um, but I have to know what we missed. And I am gonna, I am gonna respond to El Paso County and ask them about that file or you know, just that call in particular. Right. And you know, if it was redacted for personal information, um, you know, I'm, I'm willing to, um, you know, pay a processing fee or whatever we have to do to have them go ahead and redact just that part, because I really mm -hmm. want to hear that call. I want to hear how too. the teacher responded, you know, and, and I'm sure it would calls piss me her off. on her. Yes. Yeah. But I can't really say that I, I know for sure how she would have responded. I, I'm curious yeah. about it. That's about probably why it. they hung yeah. up in it the next call came, she hangs up or whatever, when she gets asked uncomfortable questions or, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. I'm really, I would love to hear it too, just because it's not often we get to hear somebody just tell her how it is. Right. <clears throat> well, and even if she wasn't telling her how it is, like in an aggressive way, even if she was just like, look, sweetie, you're batshit. So I'm just going to explain, you know, what COVID is. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I mean, it could have been, I mean, who knows? We don't know because we don't have it, but we need it. But still but telling well, her on her shit doesn't mean it's aggressive. That's just telling right. her the truth, like calling her on her. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I see. What exactly. You mean. And I think at that point for maybe Amy, um, enough is too much. You know, look, Leticia, you're not, uh, you know, you're, you're not uh, showing up for your um, appoint visits with your attorneys or their staff. And listen, ho, you and you, you're in, you're in jail awaiting trial on a serious charge, the most serious charge you can be charged with in this country. And you're doing nothing to help your own case. And you're in here playing these reindeer games, talking about the Volturi and eating season. Nobody gives a rat fat and sneak cap about that. 
you need to be concentrated on your case. And I think that's what it was. Yes, I meant, I'm glad you caught it, uh, Crime Curious, because I was about to ask you <laughs> what the cash shop was. And somebody but, just asked me, I didn't see who it was. I think it might have been Crime Crochet and Coffee. Um, just asked if I had met Amy, if I had spoken to Amy. I have not. Oh, wow. I've, so, I have not so, spoken to either Amy. Yeah, so this is like a big, you know, that, that call was important. And I, I knew it was coming. I just couldn't remember which call it was. And I didn't want to interrupt the calls. So I should have, I should have told you guys um, about that when, when, before I started putting, pushing play, but I forgot. I'm, it's my bad. I'm sorry. Um, here's um, what I will say, though, before we jump into the next one. I do just want to say that that call with Amy, with her playing crazy, is what I would mm -hmm. call it. Uh, as far as the rest of November goes, that's it. That's that's the, you know, everything from this point forward is mental health is not really spoken about. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, it just, I mean, looking at it all these different ways, it just, it just blows my mind, you know, and like I said, it's a Harley heavy month. Um, so 10, 11, and 12, uh, we've got Aunt Brenda, and then we've got Harley, and then we've got Harley. And um, from there on, she talks to Aunt Katrina one more time. Um, Wait, she doesn't remember was 11? Oh, sorry. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Was 11, number 11, like the end of November 7th or number 12? Uh, 12th is the end. The twelfth call is the end of November seventh. Did I understand the question? Yes, because earlier I thought when we were talking about like doing each day at a time, I thought you'd said eleven. So I was just asking for clarity. I didn't know. Oh yeah, no. So call number nine is the first and only call on November sixth, but ten, eleven, and twelve are all on November seventh. Okay. Are we good to go? Allie, so. what did you think about that? Because you we we didn't get to hear too much from you about yeah. that. That call number nine, that was or eight, that was an important call. What did you think, babe? Just like what I said, uh, I forget what I even said. Let me think. Um because <laughs> I already commented on it once, but <laughs> yeah. remember well, we talked about yeah. a bunch of different stuff about that call. <laughs> and so I wanted to come back to you to see if you had any final Thank closing you. thoughts. But apparently we can only ask <laughs> Allie one time. She's one and she's done. That's that. So no, you can ask me a million. <laughs> no, you can ask me a million times. I just think like it's frustrating. It was very infuriating to listen to her play dumb and then also hear you know the step of course she had to throw in the stepdad i was writing about my stepdad then and you know my stepdad he tortured me and blah 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 blah, blah. just it's just all part of her her game yes. you know yes was he haunting me why in the world was i talking about my stepdad yeah well now you've already explained that actually to this same person leticia right. You explained to Amy that it wasn't you. Someone named Angel had spent the night at your house on Sunday and she was trying to get out of going to work at her job and accidentally texted your boss by mistake. And it was actually her stepdad who that happened to. But now you're just saying, what in the world? Why did I do that? I... If it right. was real, she, uh, oh, her. it's so ridiculous. These, this is the other part of that conversation that irritated me. These are your journals. Ding dong. <laughs> you wrote them. I guess she just still needed, you know, it's what she does. She writes down this thing and then she tries to get people who are in reality to come, you know, into her world like you know the notes the notes that she took to the police interview uh the, you know she's always got these notes you know the notes that she was reading during the pretext calls um right and now what she has in jail are her notes 
that she was preparing for this very time when she's pretending to be crazy. And now it's okay for her to look at her notes because there's actually a memory lapse. So she's not yes. just looking at her notes because she wrote notes and she's trying to lie about her, <laughs> but it's her journals and she has amnesia. And so she has to look at her notes. Now her notes Correct. are practically medicinal at this point. Oh my God, Skylab, I'm done with you for the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> she was an Edgar Allan Ho with those stupid notes. I am sorry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, right, next it. call? Chance was getting in trouble. Yeah, and there was some strong reactions in the chat. And I'll say this: I don't like to hear it either. Um, you know, I just no me gusta. All right, here we go. Call number 10, November 7th, 2022, Aunt Brenda. So we're about to hear some more Tasha Lynn. Here we go. Aunt Brenda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. here. Sorry. So what I was going to say is I understand what you're saying about whatever, you know, I just know that I did check into the, the rent thing. That's all. I can't, I can't tell you about anybody in Ohio or. I, I, my point is those kids have money, their parents have money, and they get a GI Bill every month. Well, that's the thing. She told me there was four people staying in the apartment. Well, come yeah. to find out yesterday, I found out there's only three people staying in the apartment. Well, and remember, it was supposed to be divided between four people. Right. Okay. So this is where they need to figure this out. Okay. So remember the girl from Ohio, she was staying there, right? The Kylie girl. There was Kylie, Charlotte, Tono, and Harley, right? Kylie's school went back in person, right? So she had to up and leave. Okay, listen right? to this. I'm looking at the bank statement now. Right. My banker, my banker called me to ask me did I need to transfer any money in her account last week or a couple weeks back. Okay. And I said, what? Well, what do you mean transfer money in her account? She said, Miss Brenda, she only has $121 balance. Okay. I said, say what? She said, yes, ma'am. I said, wait a minute. She should have more money than that. So, so she what was sent on me there? the bank. Hey, she sent me all the bank statements. Right. Because, okay. see, I told my banker I wanted to make sure Harley always had money in her account. Right. And she was looking out for you. Yeah. And she was looking out for me and she was looking out for her. Harley. Right. And I'm looking at her bank statements, and if I could mail them to you, I would. You can I'm looking at one. Uh, huh? You can mail me a copy. I can, I'll mail there. them to you then. Yeah. Then she's got, then she's got work. She's giving cash to Antonio. Okay. Victoria's Secret, $45. I don't mind that. But right. here is groceries and stuff like that. And Tish Lynn, my friends will tell you every two or every three weeks, either two weeks or three weeks, I will go down there and take her to Sam's to the grocery store right. or to Walmart to buy groceries, too. Right. Plus, I was give, I gave her this. Starbucks. Now, she's going to have to sacrifice Starbucks. Here's the rent. The rent on 9-9 was $481.15. Right, plus the utilities. That's the rent. Right. Huh? Plus the utilities. No. No, nope, that's the rent. The utility is was a hundred and some dollars. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying I saw I saying plus the utility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's six hundred dollars. That's what see, I'm saying. See, and see all this money she's got here, when you look at it, going to the grocery stores the same day, thirteen, twelve dollars, same day at the grocery stores. Walmart. Now, if she went to Walmart to buy groceries, that's a lot of groceries. And all this is a day after going to Kroger's on the 16th. This is on the 17th at Walmart. In here, she's got here, she's giving Charlotte cash, $52. Okay, so I'm going to find out. Starbucks, what? Walmart. I'll send you this. She, she got six, and then here's another one on 8 6 her rent was six hundred dollars and ninety five cents. Okay, so I'm really—I mean, I know you're, you're in a situation that you can't do nothing. 
But I'm in a situation where I gave her this money for rent, utility bills, and groceries. Right. And I told Harley, I said, Harley, I love you to death, but you need to get you another part-time job to bring money in. You're taking out, but you're not putting nothing back in your account. Okay, well, I wanted to talk to you about this. So what I was going to say is, I, if you, since you'll have my power of attorney paper, I don't want the whole thing going back and forth about this whole car thing. I'd rather just give you the money for it out of my retirement. Or, well, I don't. I mean, Harley can have the car. I bought it for Harley, but I want Harley to understand. Even if she had the car, the insurance has got to be in somebody else's name. Well, see, I, was to do that. I know that's what I told her, and I said if I if she'll let me buy the car from her, I'll give. She can still put it on my policy. It's not a big deal. It has to be. You're right. Absolutely, a hundred percent. You know, you've done this with me already, right? And if she and she got if she'd have gotten a wreck with those two kids in that car, they could have took everything I had. That's why I wanted it to be where it's on me, not on you. That's why I wanted to talk to you about that because I don't want you stressing over that. You're already at your age now. You got to be careful. You already said your hand, your leg. You don't need to add more to it, ain't Brenda? Okay. See, I was trying. I was trying to help. I was trying to help the baby out. I know. But see, Harley, Harley was like, Harley didn't, don't understand. You know, Harley, you, you got to take responsibility. You don't need to be going to Charlotte to these Black Lives Matters. You don't need to be going to Ohio. You don't need to be going to Tennessee. You don't need to be paying $300 for a, a model consignment. She's got where she gave somebody $300 for a, cons, uh, a model consult, uh, consult, cons, cons, consultant. Consultant. Okay. Yeah. $300. All right. So this is the way I want to talk to you about And then, 100, then $109 a month for some kind of share thing. Come on. That's not what I gave her the money for. That should come out of her working money if she's wanting to do something. She like that. ain't getting that thing. She's spending that too. Okay. So this is what I want to do. I want to give you that. If that's what you, I mean, I want to figure out a way to pay for, for the car. I want you to be stuck with something and I don't want you to worry about it with insurance because that's not that's not your responsibility to stress over insurance. That's mine. She's my child, it's my responsibility. So if she can put whatever I do, I talked to her about this, whether I was gonna go give her the money. She already knows she's supposed to be I was gonna give her money out of my retirement. So the point is she can put it on my insurance. However, whether she goes and buys one or buys it from you, whatever. I just want that taken out of you to quit so you're not stressing over the insurance. But see, the thing is, is you, know, you know what she told me? What? She, she made the statement here a while back about the car, not before all this happened. She says, I'll never buy another Nissan. The next time I get another car, I'm getting something different. And I said, Harley, you got what you wanted, darling. She says, but I don't like Nissan. So, yeah, if you give her the money, she's not going to buy the car back from me. No, she's gonna I would go out and buy that. something else. No, she is she'll not. Go, she'll go buy something else. If, if she's, if I'm, what you're not understanding is she's not going to do that. She's going to do what I told her to do. It's just a matter. I didn't know. See, if I would have been, if I would have been, I know you don't have a way to call me, so I'm not blaming you. What I'm saying is if I would have known what you were just saying about the, the, the bank accounts and cents, I would have already been handled that. That would have been already handled. See, I didn't know. So if there's anything like that, you have to mail it to me because, of course, you can't call me. And there's sometimes we just can't call. You know what I mean? That, but that's yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll, I'll, send it, I'll send it to you. Like I said, my banker called me and she said, right. Miss Brenda, you want me to transfer money in her account? Right. And I said, what are you talking about? Right. She said, well, she only has 100 I said, wait a minute. Even if uh, that's, that's $1,000, and she should, that's $1,000. That still wouldn't have, shouldn't have took all our money. Right. Well, if you've seen all them Starbucks on this in this thing, ten and twenty dollars every day, yeah. and Apple, this Apple dot com thing. I don't know if she's. I don't know what she's getting off for Apple, but all that, and then she's investing money in these these things that she. I mean, there's certain things Carly's got to realize that money was in there for school. That money was in there for rent, utility bills. And groceries, but like I said, I went every two or three weeks yeah. and took her grocery shopping. Well, I'm going to call her and I'm going to talk to her, tell her about that because here's why. 
one, number one, and I'm not taking up for her. I'm just telling you it's my fault. I'm blaming myself. She, uh, she, she never not, had to, she, Hold on, Amber, now. Harley's she, never had to lack for nothing, right? She's had it made. She got what she wanted when she wanted, every time. Because I've always made really great money, and she's never had I know, money. I know. Okay, so that, that. that's number one. That's no different than, you know, lessons you and I had Me to learn. Yeah. Right. So right. That, that means I need to talk to her about that and say, you know, you've had, a, you've had a lot, you've always gotten a lot, but right now, it's going to be these, you know, necessities. Plus, I understand, you know, you might want to go to Victoria's Secret and buy someone or that's different. But yeah, not, yeah I that. understand. Right. That's, now, that's what I'm saying. I understand all that, too. Yeah. So but I'm going to talk about that. When she's giving money, when she, and, and then she says, I got my money back, ain't Brenda, from them. I said, but if you got your money back you from them. You should be putting it, depositing it back in your account. Right. I said, since this account's been open, you haven't put a penny in that account. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. She, she ain't made it to I'm gonna see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll fix it up and mail it to you. Okay. She ain't made have, a deposit in that account. Well, that account she's got, I'm going to have the thing sent to me, too, so I can see if they put the money back in, 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 the, in her account, like in her actual account, right? And I'm going to look. I know she's working. Because I've talked to her and I made sure I had someone call to make sure she was working. Like I called Denise. But you know what? Street. She but but see the thing is, is she worked and then I made the statement. I said, Harley, I said I bought you that car, darling. Not demanding nothing out of you, but every once in a while, I wish you would come and stay with me some on weekends or spend some time with me. Yeah. And she says, she says, Ain't Brenda, I could go down there and spend an hour with you or two hours. She said that wouldn't be enough for you. That's how she said it. That's exactly how she talked to me. All right. And I said, Harley, I said, I'm not asking much out of you. I said, you need to spend time with your family here. Well, I'm already she told said, her. I don't want husband, to spend time with my, Well, well she, she, she should spend time with me and I her grandma. She you. should spend time. Yeah. No, she doesn't. And she said, Here's why I'm angry, and I want you to listen to me on this. Okay. Mom hasn't first sent me the first book. Nothing. Well, and see, okay. I was having Harley to send you books and, and stuff like that, and well, I, that's is, why I kept on Harley. My point is, my mom, has, I haven't really been around my mom since I was, what, 14, 15, if you want me to be honest. Right? Be honest. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not trying to say Harley doesn't get to speak to them or whatever. Harley doesn't know that lifestyle, and I don't want her around it. Now, it's different if, if you... Or saying, hey, come visit me, or saying, hey, we're going here, there. That's different. I want her, as less as possible, to have to be subjected to North Carolina because then you got all these people that think they're entitled to see her who've never done nothing for her. Yeah, I'm caught up but that's what, on my part, but that's how I feel. And I don't know if Harley told you, I had already, she wanted to go to Greece. Well, Miss Kathy, my friend, told her to sit there, wait when you get through school and we'll go to Greece. Well, I ran across such a good deal with my cruise line that I went ahead and got us a grease yeah. for three weeks. Yeah. And I told Harley about it. And Harley was all excited. And I said, Harley, I said, I said I'm going to do whatever I can for you and everything. Because you know, I know our lifestyle because she's got a lifestyle like what she said a while ago. Yeah. And I'm not going to deprive her of that. Right. But out of courtesy, baby. Yeah. Come and visit me sometimes. Come and spend the night with me. You don't have to tell people you're here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. Well, I want um, her, I want to set up a way to give you the money for the car. I got to get, um. Well, I'm I, not worried about that. I ain't worried about that car right but now. I the only thing I'm I worried about. To because I want it to be on my insurance so you don't have to worry about it. That's why. Yeah, I, I'm not, yeah. I'm not worried about that car. I'm just, like I said, I'm just keeping it for a couple of weeks. And I see if she's going to call me. And, and like I said, when she goes out of state and places like that, she needs to let somebody know where she's at. See, I didn't know anything about out of state. Yeah, she went to Ohio, she went to Tennessee, and she, then she went to Charlotte. And she says, this is what she told me about that, and I'll, I'll send you there. She says, if it doesn't concern you, Aunt Brenda, I don't think it's any of your business. All right. All right, well, then I'll... And I'll, I'm thinking to myself, it concerns me, Harley, because I'm the one who's looking at you and taking care of you. All right, well, then I'll handle that. And so I just want you to um, 
think about the whole thing about the car. And if I can give it to you. Well, let's whatever. not worry about the car. Let's let's worry about the other stuff. I know, that's but, our priority right but now. She can't, she can't sit there and not have a place, a way to go. So that's why it's too much on me to stress about it. You have one minute remaining. But anyway, she, she, she's going to have transportation because I'm quite sure some of them are going to give her some transportation with what all she's got. I mean, I know, I mean, she, Brenda, but I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to do this so that I don't go spend money buying another car. That's all I'm trying to talk to you about. Yeah, me. yeah, I know what you're saying. See, I even, I even told her, I said, you get your part-time job and you start paying me so much a month, Harley, on the car. Because that was the agreement we made when so we bought the car. So then let me do it. Because I keep telling you that okay. and you won't, you won't agree to it. Okay. I agree whatever you want to do. Okay. Whatever let you want do to do. To give you the money for the car. I do. Um, and then that way, you ain't got to first stress over the insurance. All right? All right. And then we'll right. have I'll you. Have I'll yeah, yeah. the other stuff, too. Okay. Whole, okay. I love you, baby. Right, and if you need books, I mean, it's right up. If you need okay. books, please send me what titles you need, now so I can okay. get them. Okay. What What do you like? Uh, I'll send you the title. And is well, please, so does she you, have does she have enough for the rent for November? She should. Thank you for using Global Telling. Wow. The money is big mad. Big, huge mad. Yeah, so now it's like, you know, hearing... <laughs> so now we have to throw Harley under the bus because we're trying to work Aunt Brenda into coming back into the picture because Letitia knows that the money that she's talking about isn't real. You know, here it is November 7th, and that's Saturday. And that money was supposed to be in Harley's account on Friday. Yeah, Not sure what nice. happened to it. Something must have happened. <laughs> I don't, yeah, it's banking error. These banks, they're just part of the whole conspiracy. Damn you, Wells Fargo. Yeah, now she's going to blame Wells Fargo. Now I won't be sponsored by yeah, Wells Fargo. Thanks a lot, Crime Curious. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you saboteur. Yeah. Where's Allie? Um, did Allie fall asleep? I hope not. She might okay. Have fallen asleep. She no, I didn't fall asleep. asleep. I just oh. my phone is almost dead and the cord's really short, so I have it plugged in by the wall, and then I'm like sitting on the couch far away from it, looking on Aww. at the chat on another device. Yeah, <laughs> but it's <Allie>. okay. <laughs> no, that's okay. I just didn't want to switch again because I had already switched when the other one died. And remember, I came back on Bentley's phone. Then it almost died. Yes. So it's okay. What do you think yeah, about this call? We won't be coming back to you again because I know you're a one and done kind of chick. You asked me one time and that's that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I think that Brenda, like I get, ah. Oh, I get why she has a say over what Harley spends her money on, but I also think she takes it to the next level. And uh, yeah, that's really it. She's she's mad, like you said, she's big mad on this one. <laughs> well, listen, since Aunt Brenda is, excuse me, Aunt Brenda is such a detective, why doesn't she uh, take that little magnifying glass and actually point it toward Letitia and see what happens? Yeah. I mean, just it's like. I, oh man, hearing them talk is so difficult because, you know, you almost forget just like they've clearly forgotten why they're even in this position to have these calls in the first place. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yes. Now listen, you know, when you take someone's money, you got to take that person's crap. And that's just, that's a lot, that's a hard life lesson, but it is true. Harley is acting like a, like a typical 18-year-old, for Pete's sake. I mean, she's blowing money and being irresponsible. That is what 18-year-olds do, period. Right, and now and Letitia has trained her to have zero respect for Aunt Brenda. So yep. then when, when Harley shows even the smallest amount of disrespect, Letitia's like, no, wait, Harley, that's not what I meant. Listen. We trash Aunt Brenda behind her back, but we well, have to treat her with respect because we're using her for money. Right. So you know, now she's got to she's got to relearn Harley on on how to grift. 
Yeah, listen, Harley, it's real easy. When you can see Aunt Brenda's face, that's when you be nice. When it, you can't see Aunt Brenda's face, that's when that's when you talk the shit. See, a, another example from Debo. You know, you got to have mind control over Aunt Brenda. When Aunt Brenda tells mm -hmm. you to shut the fuck up, you be quiet. But when Aunt Brenda leaves, you be talking again. That's what you need to do. Right. Have have zero respect for her, Harley, because she's a crazy, you know, nightmare of a woman. But you gotta be nice to her. We need her money. What are you yep. doing? Exactly. And here's the other thing, Letitia. This is and crying crochet and coffee. This is exactly correct. <clears throat> Aunt Brenda and Letitia are trying to quote unquote rescue Harley from a situation that she's gotten herself into while simultaneously bitching about the situation she's gotten into and blaming everybody else for how the situation became to be. That's the thing about 18 year olds. 18 year olds are, they're legal adults, okay? But brain wise and development, they're not mature enough to handle the responsibility that being an adult really entails, but they, you've got to make them learn their lesson. And Aunt Leticia, I know that you're over there like E.F. Hutton and everything and, you know, being everybody's financial advisor, man. But did you forget that you done spent that retirement fund about 87 different ways? There ain't but so much in there, ma'am. Um, okay, so that was call number 10. And then call number 11 is Harley. And then there's a redacted call uh, that was Aunt Brenda. And then there's another one from Harley. So it's supposed to go from here. It's number 11 is supposed to be Harley. And then it's supposed to be Brenda and then Harley again, because that's how it actually happened. But the Brenda call magically disappeared. So the last two calls that we have are Harley and Harley. Okay. So uh, play 11 and then pause and then play 12 and pause, right? And then we're done. Yeah, 11 is going to be okay. about 13 minutes. Okay. All right, buckle up, y'all. Because now Harley's going to weigh in on this situation. Gee, I wonder what's going to happen. Do you think Letitia's going to get on to her? No. Right. Let's find out. <laughs> Um, so I need to talk to you about a few things. So whatever I say, you don't get upset. All right. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So this uh, bank statement about the money that was spent, you never told me you were going to Ohio. That was a long time ago. It doesn't matter if it was yesterday or 25 days ago, but you never told me about mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that would be something very important to tell someone? I mean, yeah, but I told everyone I was here. Okay, so who is your mother? Everyone there or me? Okay. No, this, not, this is not okay. It's just a question. You need to really think about this. Because you're pushing yourself to be completely on your own with no help. That's what that's and you know what's gonna happen? Those people that are there with you, their family has loads and tons of money. They ain't worried about it. And that's no attack on nobody. They got it made. And if you're on your own, you don't have it made with these people with all this money, right? Mm -hmm. Harley, this is not a time where you're not going to talk to me. You've had a very good life and always got what you wanted. You didn't tell me anything about going to Tennessee. What was in Tennessee? What? What was in Tennessee? We all went there, Mom. Who's we? Me, Charlotte's mom. Charlotte, Tony. But did 
I ever know once you were leaving the state of South Carolina? Did I ever know once? I didn't even hear from you at that point in time. Harley. Harley. Don't give me a lie. No. Because that point in time, you didn't go to Ohio and Tennessee. Or on top of that, you could have had the decency to tell anybody that I talked to to say, hey, tell my mom I'm going to this place. But you didn't say any of that, right? Mm -hmm. And then the money that was in that account was supposed to be for your rent, your utilities, your grocery, right? Yeah. Okay. There's other stuff on that bank statement that is not. If you got something you want to pay for some model consignment or consultant, you need to do that out of something you're making because that's something that's not, you're not privileged to do that. That's something you work to make. Mom, I already told her that whatever stuff like that, that was on there, I already replaced it. But it wasn't, it's not back on that bank account. So where did it go? Yes, it is. I don't see any credits on that bank account. Because I didn't do it that way. The way that I did it is that one of those things I would just take out of my card. Okay. So this is where you got to understand, all right? You projected me one way about how the situation went down. And it's completely opposite, and there's evidence to show that it's opposite, right? And so I sit here every day trying to pull strings to get people to make sure you're getting money from certain places. And then I get this and find out what in the heck that I knew nothing of this, none of this. That's not how it's going to go. I don't, I understand that you are 18, right? But still, mm -hmm. every 18 year old who gets help from their family still has to be a part of their family, right? Not. Mm -hmm. 18-year-olds who are on their own. 18 year old on their own? It's pretty hard. Trust me, I did it. It's pretty hard. Because you don't have anybody to help with anything. So it's only yourself. So here's what's going to happen. You made a comment that you would never get a Nissan again. Did you make that comment? Yeah. Okay, why? Just because all the stuff that had happened and how they treated me doesn't mean I'm serious. But you got to remember, when you're dealing with people who are old school people and you say things that way, they don't live in this new generation that you guys live in and talk that way. They're great, their brains get convoluted, you know, because they're old. So they think of something a certain way where you think of it's no different than how you got your generation text and another generation text. Just like this text message that you sent back. It says that it's none of your concern. You told her it was none of her concern where you were going. I did not say it like that. Harley, she sent me the copies. And then here's another problem. I understand uh, Amy and all of them have been good to you and all that, but they don't come first as the person that knows where you're going. In fact, they really shouldn't know much about you other than you're doing fine. I mean, I never know them to have any concern before other than, hey, how are you doing? I miss you, right? Neither has she. Huh? Neither has she. But is Amy paying your apartment? No, right? So here's what's going to happen.
since you don't like a Nissan and you don't want one anymore, which is a brand new Nissan, that's where the money's going. The money's paying her for that car. The car's going to be in my name and your name. And you're going to put it on insurance for me and you. Then you ain't got to sit and worry about you no know, back and forth with the whole whose car it is. And I told her that. I said, I'm giving you the money for the car or nothing at all. You're going to get another one. But if you go get another one, you're only going to get one that's going to be like 15000 Where mm-hmm. I can give her the fifteen, and then not worry about the difference. Or I owe her the difference, and she just wants a paper notarized sent to her. Then you're going to take the rest and pay your, like, your rent and stuff. Mm-hmm. But you need to reach out to her, and you need to say, hey, mom told me she's going to, she talked to you, and she's going to pay you for the car. She's going to send you the paperwork for the remaining balance or whatever, and, she's, and then you're going to get cash for the rest. You will have to give her the cash for the rest whenever you get the money or okay. you your check or something. But you're going to tell her. And you're going to tell her that your mother talked to you about spending the money from the account that is only supposed to be for rent, grocery, and utilities. Right? Mm-hmm. Anything extra you, you spend, I don't care that you spent $300 on a model thing. I'm not upset with you about that. Do it out of your account. Do you see what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Send the money mm-hmm. to Charlotte and Tono out of her account. You should have known that was a disaster, right? Even though you were crediting it back, and I understand what you're saying, that you were crediting it back on your account, or you were like having them pay for something. I understand that. But you're dealing with people who don't have the technology common sense that you have. Mm-hmm. So then it looks like they're just paying for you to go to a model consignment, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So you're not going to say nothing about any extra money you're going to have in your account. Do you understand me? Mm-hmm. That's not going to be birth to anybody at all. When that money gets there, I on that letter, it's going to tell you what to do with it. You don't need to say a word about what money you got. You don't need to say anything to her about nothing. As far as you're concerned, the only thing I got was to give her the money, the 15000 towards the car, right? Mm-hmm. Because otherwise, what's going to happen is you're going to have to get a car that's $15,000, which if you've looked around, it probably ain't what you want, right? Mm-hmm. Or you're going to have to finance one, and with you only being 18, Interest rates would be through the roof, or you can pay $15,000 down and finance the rest. But you're still going to have car payment. Which is fine with the other money using as a security blanket because you can pay for the car payments. So, of course, that's going to be our plan B. And we ain't going to say nothing to nobody about it, right? I mean, mm-hmm. nobody has been. You're not going to say anything to her. I don't want mom. I don't want any of them knowing your business like that. I talked to her about the whole North Carolina thing, why I didn't want you to be in around North Carolina. I talked to her why I didn't think you owed anybody in North Carolina anything because no one ever did anything for you. I talked to her about that. I said, that's why I want the car paid for and it be mine and hers or hers. The problem is if it's just yours alone, you have to get insurance. And that's going to be about three or four hundred dollars a month. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. By yourself, that's how much it would be. But a licensed driver who's had her license a long time, that's why it's cheaper. I told her I don't want the car on her insurance anymore because that creates a problem telling you about anybody riding in the car, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So that way it's on me. Because it should be on me because you're my child. So the car is going to be... Thank you for using Global Telling. Hey. Mm. 
Wow. So it's the day after the money was supposed to show up. And what's happening instead is Harley's in trouble and Letitia's talking down to her and now going to punish her with the Nissan. <laughs> the Nissan is punishment. <laughs> right. And she's... Uh, right. This call made no sense. None. No. Uh-oh. See? Look what y'all did. Make, you made Allie leave with your nonsense, Letitia. Oh, here she comes. This is, I mean, come on. This was some baloney. I added, why is it not letting me add her? There's, I just, I mean, even her goes. tone. What happened to the vampires, Letitia? Right. Right. Now she knows about loan payments and interest rates. And are these, uh, did you calculate these uh, figures, Letitia, on 2020 interest rates or 2019 interest rates? Remember, that's where you're supposed to be? Right. Oh, God, it's just, uh, it's crazy that, you know, 24 hours ago, was it 24 hours ago? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Two days ago. Two days ago, she's talking to Amy and she's, you know, there's a game stopping and a conspiracy and, you know, there's vampires and, and all the things. And two days season. later, she's just bitching at Harley with this nasty tone. Like Harley's done something wrong when really Harley, you know, Harley probably woke up that morning and checked her account for the imaginary $25,000. I mean, she just, I mean, this is the roller coaster that, that Albert was talking about in court. This is yes. it. This is the roller coaster. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to, I have some follow-up questions that are not going to be resolved because we don't have that call, but yeah, I mean, what the frap? Yeah. Do you have one more in you? We'll finish up for November. Yeah, 7th. I have, yeah, I have one more in me. Um, so let's oh my god. Y'all brace yourselves because I feel like we're gonna just stay mad. So here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, All right, here we go. All right. And so the other money that's gonna be left, you're gonna use that as a safety net in the bank. All right. Because the other large amount I have to have for private counsel. And that's a lot of money, right? I mean, sure. I mean, I've thought about it, giving it to you, being like, here, just buy you a house and let it be paid for. But I also need my freedom because this is crazy. I'm getting hoodooed with nonsense, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why I have to use it for that. All right, so you're not going to say anything. If someone asks you, like, hey, did you get money for your mom? Just like, yeah, you don't have to explain anything about how much. You don't have to say anything. As far as they're concerned, and Brenda's been given her $15,000 for, for the car. And and I'm not doing it unless she's going to agree that it's going to be on my insurance and you. If not, we're going to go with the other plan, which is to find you one. Do you understand? Okay. But I'm trying to get, I mean, I'd rather you have a car that's safe, new, whatever, whatever. These sons are not bad cars. I know you're frustrated about that, but I've owned how many of them? Never had the first problem. Just every once in a while, things go wrong like that. Look what happened to the Volkswagen and the lights, right? Mm -hmm. I've already straightened her out about the Nissan thing because I already had it handled. I already knew that you were telling the truth about the Nissan thing because I had already checked into it about the whole window. And I set her straight on that. And she was like, why didn't they let me know? Well, you know what? Maybe they didn't send it to you or maybe they did. I don't know. The point is, that's why I want the car in my name or Harley's name. Or I told her, or we're going to take the $15,000 and we're going to go buy another car. I said, so I told her, I said, you sit and think about it for a day or two. I said, because I still got it in the process. And I said, and then let me know. And if not, then she's going to take the $15,000 to go get her somewhere. Go get her something. And I said, this whole thing back and forth about if you don't do what I say, take cars. That's why I'm avoiding all that because that's not going to fly. I'm not going to let someone do hard like that. I told her. I said, I'm not mad with her for what she did. I'll talk to her about it, but I need to know where she's going. 
even if you can't tell me beforehand, that whole time you were there, Harley, me calling you, you could say, hey, Mom. I'm in Tennessee. You think I don't know Melissa and them and trust them with my life? So therefore, I trust them with your life. Right? Mm-hmm. When nobody was there in North Carolina, who do we have? The people in South Carolina, right? Mm-hmm. That's who we had. That's all we've ever had. We really haven't had my mom and none of my siblings. We've had Dee Dee. We've had Melissa. We've had Amy, right? These have been the people that we've known. Courtney. You know, these have been the people. And I don't, I love them and trust them. Just tell me where you are. And for God's sake, if you buy something like that, just do it out of your money and the money that I'm sending you, all right? And if she gives you money for the apartment and rent, you're not saying a word that you have it already as a backup plan, all right? Because she's going to have to handle the, uh, I don't have anybody else, but she's got to handle my private attorney. She's the only person that I can trust that can legally know what she's doing. I don't have a mother that's smart enough to do it, and my father's a piece of crap. So that's why Amber is the only one. I could, I'm not giving her. I gave you financial and everything else, and I gave her ability to be over the legal stuff. Because you couldn't be over it, right? So that's why. Mm-hmm. I'll call you back tomorrow and talk to you more about it. I don't want you to be upset with me. I'm proud of you. I love you. I'm not mad with you. I'm telling you to be smarter and wiser on a bank account. you got to be smart. I'm not telling you to cheat the system. I'm telling you to be smart, right? If someone's helping you, you mm-hmm. be smart and you play the cards. you got to know when to hold them. you got to know when to fold them, right? That's a skill I gotta teach you. Huh? You what? Next thing I was on that Bellamy page and somebody just put, come on, I don't know, just put something bad. Somebody put what? They like just said something mean to us. Mean to y'all? Yeah, like to the company. Screw them mean people. You don't have time for me, people. Jesus said you don't have time for me, people, right? You pray for them. But I got to get off here, so I'm just going to tell you that. I'm not mad at you. Don't get upset. Don't go crazy. Don't say my mom forced me out. It's not. I'm not forcing you out. I'm telling you. I got to teach you these skills of being smart. If someone's going to help you till this is over, then you ain't got to worry about it when this is over. I guarantee you that, Harley Hunt. All right? Well, we're going to we're gonna walk through this together and finish tomorrow how you're going to get through this. All right? And I'm not doing the car unless she's agreeing this on my insurance. All right? If not, you're going to buy the other car. All right? And I'll get you more words as soon as I find out, and I'll call you tomorrow, okay? Oh, and if that lady calls you, she might call you. um, If she calls you, she might call you to ask for some of the security questions, and you might have to help her because she's trying to get in that account, okay? Okay. All right. Love you. Bye. Hello? No. Oh, Jen, do you have any idea how hard it was to not warn you guys about the gambler? Kenny Rogers entered the chat. <laughs> I admire the uh, restraint because oh, I don't know I could not have done that. I know. And even earlier, we were like, well, do we stop at nine? I'm like, oh, no, let's go to 12. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> it she- really goes to 12. When was it that she said that in court or said that, was that in a letter she wrote? Okay. So yeah. this, uh, so November of 2020, this is before she goes pro se. And when she quotes Kenny Rogers in the courtroom is when she's explaining that she wants to go pro se. And the reason why she believes that she would be, capable of running her own defense in a homicide case is because well she's like really good at poker and she knows when to hold them and she knows when to fold them um so what's happening what what we're witnessing from these phone calls is this is sort of the beginning of her adding albert into the gambling slash figurines florida suitcases story with Edgar or Edwin Mm. or E because um, well that, okay. 
that actually happened. Uh, the article from Crime Online where she implicated Albert came out in September. Mm -hmm. Right. So she is. So she yes. was slowly starting to do it then. But this is where um, she's starting to make it like a public relations campaign. Um, you know, the articles already come out and and now she's got people online talking about Albert's involvement and um, and she's doing all this, you know, from jail. Um, anyway, uh, so so this is her getting ready to pull the gambling into into her story, the the gambling okay, so she foreshadowed well, with crime. When she said it in court, though, we were not allowed cameras in there at that time, right? And we just heard it in articles. Am I right about that, or am I remembering it wrong? No, there was a WebEx that day. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't see it. I just heard, read about it, like, in the articles. And I know there was some times that we weren't allowed to see it at all, um, mm -hmm. like the preliminary hearing for sure. No, the day that she said that there was a WebEx, but you could absolutely not restream it or record oh. it. Anyway. Okay. So anybody who saw it happen had to be on the WebEx in real time. Okay. I see. That's why I didn't see it. Now, what about the preliminary hearing? Was that the same? That was the same. I didn't... Well, no, no, no. Oh, that okay. wasn't on WebEx. That was not on WebEx. Okay. Because I was going to say, I remember like la watching the live tweets as it was happening and yeah, like, I that's, was live. Mm -hmm. that's all we had that's all we had but what we can do now is order the transcript from the preliminary oh that would be really interesting because there was a lot that came out in that like that's when we first heard about his defensive wounds and um and stuff because i will never i'll absolutely never forget that just because it just it was like a hit to the gut because you just picture him like trying to fight back or at least keep himself from being hurt yeah she's getting ready to focus a lot more on albert as far as you know who the actual bad guy is oh my but she needs so, to get her hands on that discovery evidence so she can see the district attorney's hand because now it's all about playing poker Letitia, let me just give you a pro tip. I mean, there's some good lessons to be learning, to be learning. There's some good lessons you could be learning from the gambler. But the, the thing is, is that you're already talking about it. So already you've negated any lesson that anybody can help to teach you. The, and, and really, that's the underscore of all of this conversation with Harley is basically do it where you can't get caught. Don't leave a paper trail. Right. And if I mean, you that's, sit down that's at what the, table, the lesson was. If you sit down at the table and you want to play poker, you have to use real money. <laughs> right. Not uh, fake cartel hush money. Right. There was only one part that like sounded like a real mother and teenager conversation. And it was where she was like, you know, if somebody's helping you, like if your family's helping you, you need to be part of the family. Like it just because every teenager, you know what I mean, is going to be yeah. out with their friends and the, your friends are like at that point in your life, like everything to you. And and it's not till you're older that you realize it's all about your family. You know what I mean? It, too. Yeah. But um, yeah, that one part I was like, huh. But then Harley came back. At another part where she, where Leticia was like, you know, so and so is shouldn't even be worrying about you. They don't come around, blah blah blah. And here comes Tommy. Right. Neither does that Brenda. Right. Well, see, and that was okay. See, you got to read the room, Harley. Uh, it's okay to talk like that every other time with your mom, but right now your mom is working an angle that you don't know about. So she's got to be on Aunt Brenda's side. So don't you sass. Aunt Brenda in my presence now, even though I taught you how to do it. Right. This is the part of the don't leave a paper trail I was telling you about. Right. Lord. I don't even remember her <laughs> okay, mentioning an appeal, so, but good question. Okay, so here's the deal with an appeal. She was she was told at the end of the trial, she and her attorneys were told that they had 30 days, I think it was, to file. Okay, they don't, that's to file a notice of an appeal. That's 
to let the court know that you intend to file an appeal because typically the order of operations goes, you file your intent to file an appeal, right? And the next step is you go, you uh, get with the court reporter or the clerk and you get the transcripts of the trial because what you're looking for are errors and their procedural errors in the trial. And those are how you start to form the basis of an appeal. And then you go from there. But as far as I know, that time has come and gone and there has been no notice of appeal filed. But I could be wrong. I don't be checking up on Letitia Stout like I'd be checking up on Sarah Boom. I mean, I only have to type the word O, the letters O and o R. And here comes Google. Oh, you want the Orange County clerk? Here you go. So I don't check on her as often, but I could be checking on Sarah Boone all the days. Funny. What do you, th is she, ha I don't think she's appealed. Jen, has she noted, filed a no. notice of appeal? I didn't think so. Not I that I know so. of, no. Yeah. So I don't think Letitia intends to appeal. I think she's working this lawsuit angle, this prison lawsuit angle. Dolly so. Parton, actually, my brother did security for her, one of her recent shows, or not recent shows, like a year ago, Love Shack, Sarah, and uh, shared pictures with her and stuff. This phone's going to die. I'm going to have to come in on the other one. Hold on. Okay. All right. I, I'm, a, I'm a huge Dolly Parton fan. I love her. Don't ask me why. I can't tell you exactly why I love her or what I love about her, but I do. I just love her. <laughs> he sent us this photo with her, like outside of the uh, a private jet, and it was him, this other guy, and her, and we were like, oh, me and my mom, we're like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> He's like, she's so sweet. She's really nice. Oh, man, I was totally answering, but I was muted and didn't realize it. And I was like, dang, Allie, just going to talk about Dolly Parton right in the middle of what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> and I just shut up. Um, because I was like, oh, man, OK. And then <laughs> and it's not like I was saying anything important, but, you know, it was just funny because and then I realized, oh, they have no idea. <laughs> No I'm sorry. No, I would not do that to you unless I was delayed. Then maybe <laughs> it was. It was hilarious. I wish you could have heard the whole thing. <laughs> it's like, um, so Lil Red Riding Hood. Um, there are always procedural errors in every trial. Every trial has at least one or two, and um. It, it doesn't mean that that so basically they'd have to, so the procedural error would have to be so egregious that if it hadn't occurred that the jury would have found the client not guilty and so those are real rare you know like <clears throat> for example in the west memphis three case all right damien and jason were tried together jesse was tried separately jesse confessed to the crimes multiple times. Okay. Well, because Jesse did not testify at, at Damien and Jason's trial, his confessions could not be talked about in that trial. Well, on uh, questioning, Brian Ridge, I think it was, mentioned the that mentioned Jesse's confession. And immediately, both sets of lawyers for the defense, for Damien and for, for Jason, moved for a mistrial. And a mistrial was not granted. And the truth of the matter is, it should have been. Because when they collected some of the stuff from the jury, um, there were lists as to guilt and to innocence. And one of the things that was on that list, but was scratched out, was Jesse's confession. So the fact that they even wrote it down, that that shouldn't, that wouldn't, if if they had declared a mistrial, that wouldn't have happened. So the, like there's, there can be big procedural errors and it not be enough until, until you um, escalate up the appeals ladder. So, you know, it's just one of those things. 
Uh, Jesse's IQ is much higher than that. He's uh, he's right somewhere between 75 and 80. It depends on uh, who is evaluating him and uh, what and their interpretation of the results. But he he's definitely, you know, there's a deficit there. And I'm not saying that the confessions are correct confessions or accurate confessions. It's just I'm just using that as an example because he did confess multiple times. That's facts, not that they were accurate. But the bigger picture is that he never testified against Jason and Damien, and therefore his confession would have been inadmissible. And yet when Brian Ridge mentioned it on the stand, that should have been a mistrial right there. But it wasn't granted. Oh, you missed the super chat, Bendy, uh, from Kimmy. It's really sweet. Oh, did I? Mm -hmm. oh, let me look. I'm sorry. Thank you, babe. Okay. Oh, let's see. There's a lot of people in here. Thank you for the all the hard work, time, and effort. You and Allie and Crime Curious deserve so much more. I don't know where I'd be without you girls. Oh, Kimmy, thank you so much. You guys, we don't know where we would be with you. Thank you. you guys. Believe Absolutely. me. Believe me. Coming and talking to true crime with you guys has gotten all three of us out of some like, you know. Oh, yeah. Issues. Some funks. Some yeah, funks. And I absolutely mean what I said when I first got here tonight. Um, going through and doing all the editing and processing on these calls. Uh, Nobody needs to listen to these calls alone. It's best to at least have, you know, the chat, you know, or comments where you can express your feelings about what you've just heard. Exactly. <laughs> Which like but these are, see, these are the kind of calls that get me in trouble because I'll want to talk about something so badly that I almost risk talking to someone who doesn't follow the case. And I, <laughs> I immediately regret it every time. Oh, uh, it's funny. 11 here. Aww. Um, I, 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 I regret it almost immediately. I guess that's 12, 11 for you guys, huh? Yes. Yeah, I've, um, I've learned to not talk about this case unless I know for sure it's somebody who understands. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to be put on a list. Um, Tomorrow... We're doing more calls, which I don't know. Did you see my message about like seven and nine? Um, I didn't see it, but I'm I'm okay with whatever as long as I know I can work around it. Uh, okay, because I know that Jen has something else she's doing too, and she said it could be at either time. And I'm like, I would rather do seven, but I don't know if I'm going to be home in town. So I think like tomorrow day I'll know better. If that's okay. All right. Well, just let me know. Yeah. Just give me a heads up and I'll work it out. No worries. I'm, I'm okay. flexible, remember? Yes, I know. <laughs> Whenever you schedule it, if you could just send a link and then I'll go ahead and add it to that playlist because I've got a playlist on my homepage on YouTube where it's, you know, the calls without commentary, but then also the calls with commentary and I'm putting them all in order. So all the channel, okay. you know, all of the videos that we do on Allie's channel and Jen's channel and mine are all part of one of those two playlists. So, okay. And my Perfect. YouTube channel is just as scattered as my brain. I need to get, I need to work on it. It's on my list. It's on my to-do list. I need to do playlists too. I just started making them and I've got two, but I think I'm going to change the tidbits playlist into like just gel files all together. I don't know. I need to do some organizing as well. I just have not had a moment, but. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'll work on uh, Grandma SS. I will definitely work on that uh, this week and, and get it into a more cohesive um, playlist for everybody. Um, I, I can tell you this, if you go to the main page of the, of my channel, um, and you just look at past live streams and you scroll all the, everything, all the lives are there, but I've got a ton yep. of videos that I've done and I, I have a whole West Memphis three playlist, a bunch of trial, different trial playlists and stuff like that. But I need to get, um, 
the calls and, you know, the pretext calls, the jail calls and just, you know, Leticia stuff kind of organized better. So, yeah. Yes. Um, and then, yeah, thank you for having me. It was fun. I enjoyed it. You, the three hour, even though it's so frustrating and maddening listening to her with you guys, it's still enjoyable. <laughs> so thank I know, you. Yeah, it is. It is. Thank you guys so much. And Kimberly, um, thank you very much, babe. Nestor's just, you know, he's a 15, almost, he'll be 15 next month. He's a 15 year old chocolate lab. And he's just, you know, he's getting old and he's having some struggles and it's time going to be time to make some hard choices. And it's just, uh, um, just sad, just a sad time. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, yes, but yes. I want, yeah. So, um, but you guys are all distract, distracting me from all of that. And I appreciate it so very much. I really do. You guys have no idea how much, um, I, I appreciate everybody coming and, and coming in and showing support by being here. And then it's all the, you know, the joining memberships and super chats, death and cash apps and stuff. That, that's a bonus. Really. I appreciate all of that. I do. Um, so yeah. Um, sorry about my mic. Obviously, I guess like somebody said it was really loud and because I had earbuds in earlier, it had to be turned all the way up, but they just died. So like when we, like right at the end of those calls. So that's why, but I turned it down a little bit, but we're jumping off anyways. Um, so yeah, yeah but yeah. thank you guys oh, for thank being you, Crystal. here. Sorry, Allie, we talked at the same well, time again. We do that all the time. I just wanted to say thank you to Crystal D that thank you. That was very, very generous. I appreciate that so, so much. Um, yeah. So anyway, but thank you guys all for being here. Thank you for being here, Jen. Thank you for being here, Allie. Um, if you haven't, haven't you. done so, give your girl a thumbs up on the way out. Uh, it does help. It really does keep me in the algorithm. And I totally, totally appreciate that. So without further ado, we will see you tomorrow night for the, some more calls over on Alex Erickson's channel. Make sure that you have your notifications turned on so that you'll know when we uh, go live, it'll either be seven or it'll be nine. We'll know better tomorrow uh, what the deal is going to be, but we will definitely be over there. And then we'll be over here. It'll be uh, me and uh, Christine Chief, that's me. And we're going to do some something to have some laughs. All right. So thank you right. guys. Have a great rest of your Saturday night. Bye. Bye.